Hi. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on Loading Ready Run. Today we are drafting Modern Masters hi, hi. 2015. Because mm. we were like, what should we draft? We have a box of Modern Masters. We should, we should probably draft that. So, uh, yeah, welcome everybody. Um, myself here this evening, joined by Cameron, Serge, Hello. Adam, Jeremy, and Nelson. And uh, if you are watching us live tonight on Twitch, hello, please go subscribe to our new YouTube channel, LR, uh, LRRMTG. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, hello, welcome. Please also subscribe. <laughs> Great. Um, Good talk. Yeah, this show, The Friday Night Paper Fight, is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Check out cardkingdom.com slash LRR. They're great. I don't know what else to say that I haven't already said. They're great. Their customer service is awesome. Their shipping is fast. They'll ship sealed product anywhere in the States, singles anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're great. Sometimes you can ask them to like draw you a token. But are they great? Uh, I think I've established that. Their greatness. Mm. Which is a lot. Also, uh, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Thank you so much. I don't have a thing that involves hitting the table. Sorry. I don't. Thanks, sir. That's not the stream for it. Oh, right. That's only AFK, it's right? only AFK. <laughs> good. We're good. We're, that is correct. It's the only time we do that. Okay. And I get upset. That's the only time I'll get upset when we don't do it. Good. Continuity good. manager, Adam Savagan, with a quick save on no hitting the table. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote the rules on it. Uh, just Shane 99 yes, Jer is here, and on also on DraftCam, along with myself, which is exciting. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? If I open a foil Tarmogoy, do I get a raise? Nice. <laughs> no. One-time bonus <laughs> equal to <laughs> Tarmogoy's resale value, yeah. but the bonus is in store cred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To the Loading Ready Run store. store yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. How many new hoodies do you need? <laughs> yeah. You're just going to pay me in Lure merchandise? I have yeah. a question. <laughs> That'd be so sold sick. My soul I have a real question. Dad? What's up? How do I draft this set? All right, so, uh, for the benefit of everyone sitting here at the table, but also for the benefit of you watching at home, if you're curious, the draft archetypes in Modern Masters 2015 are Blue Black Proliferate, Black Red Bloodthirst, which also involves tokens, yeah. or uh, counters. Uh, counters, counters, rather. Yeah. White blue affinity slash metalcraft. Uh, red green domain, oh, right. but literal trump the domains is not actually in this one. Hmm. Uh, green white tokens convoke. White black soul shift. Spirits. The spirits. Blue red elementals, mostly with like the Lorwyn Shadowmore elementals. It's like standard oh, all over again. Yeah. 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 Black green sacrifice. Uh, yeah, black green sacrifice, different from the usual black red. Hmm. Uh, red white Voltron, like Aura's equipment, and green blue graft. All right, which is also proliferate. It's like the reverse of the blue black. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's weird. It's like green, red, blue, and black all have sort of this plus counters. one, plus one counter, or minus theme. one, minus one. Yeah. yeah. First pick, throwing bird. Throwing bird's a very yeah. good card. I mean, leaves you open oh, to a lot of archetypes. Packs. There. I love these packs. Oh, right. Yeah. I love this draft format, actually. I needed to have a refresher on what the architecture were, but I remember enjoying it. I'm also really happy that my friend Jeremy White gets to be here tonight. It's lovely yes. to I don't think I've ever drafted this a... set before. Oh, really? Yeah. It's really? Pretty, it's pretty fun. Jared and I have had a lot of fun with this set already together. Uh -oh. okay. Step we one. We actually play some, some I... drafts of this format. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember anything about my Sealed League deck? Yeah, absolutely. I remember your <laughs> Sealed League deck. So we opened up six packs of Modern Masters. I was lucky enough to get two Karns. That was pretty cool. <laughs> And I had like some mana ramp to be able to cool. cast them, but Jeremy definitely did me one over. I had two Emrakul, the Aeons Torn, <laughs> and regularly cast them. Oh, Record you had at least wow. one Primeval Titan and at least Prime one in the Eldrazi yeah. Temple or I have Eldrazi, Eldrazi, Eldrazi Temple, oh, and I had two Kozilek Predators, oh, two right, the Nest yeah. Invasors, right, the Scions, the two Everflowing Chalices. Yeah, I remember watching one of the regulars at the store open one of these packs for no value. And like, slowly pull the bat card out, <laughs> seeing the foil green border, and it was prime time. <laughs> yeah, like the foil green and border just being with the devastated. Mythic symbol. It's like still maybe pretty good. It's yeah. but then it's prime time. You're like, yep. that's still not bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, you're angry with yourself for being uh, heartbroken. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, we've been making a bunch of jokes about it, so we should we should hep everyone to hep, hep everyone to the history of this set in the the big stage on the big screen of went back when there was GP coverage. Um, Pascal Maynard, Canadian Magic Pro, oh, yeah. famously in the top eight 
of Grand Prix Las Vegas. On of, draft cam. Of uh, MM 2015 that year. Um, drafted a Tarmogoyf in his top eight, even though he needed the Galvanic Blast for his deck. Burst, burst lightning. lightning. Burst Lightning, sorry. Burst Lightning. Could have played the Burst Lightning, but yeah. it was a foil Tarmogoyf, and he caught hell for it. We were joking yeah. about this before you got yeah. here, and we were like, Get we paid. hope someone gets to do that, so that we hope that Jeremy Rack gets to do that, so he can be like, oh, mm, mm. oh, burst lightning. really hum and haw about it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Get paid, man. That's uh, I get paid. This has these three How steps. How much the time? Bang. Like six hundred to eight hundred dollars. Yeah, American eight hundred bucks yeah. for a foil goyf at the time. Yeah. Was it yeah. a stamped one? In the in the uh, the set, it was the first Modern Masters set in <clears throat> Vegas where they had a big problem with people like drafting and dropping. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. They like their open stuff. their field yeah. pool and drop. That's yeah. before, before they changed the rules. You yeah, open they someone else's pool. That's why they changed. It. It. Well, yeah. yeah, unofficially why they changed the rules. The yeah. uh, the three <laughs> steps to a successful booster draft are one: set up your play space. Cool. Done. Done. Uh, you'll need a large table. Uh, two, organize the draft. Medium. See players randomly around the table, gives them each three booster packs. Each player opens one booster pack, sets a card from it. Yes. Three, give up basic lands and pair players for matches. Doesn't actually say and then play, but I mean, I think, <laughs> yeah, that's, cool. that's, that's possibly implied. implied. Yeah. Let's revolutionize that. So I, by the way, I love these packages. Me too. I know that these were not perfect because the the cards kind of yeah also can you rattle around in them a little bit. Um, and there was a thing with like you could maybe unseal them or whatever, but they uh, never went back to fixing it. We're gonna well have I think and now so they're gonna do away with all the plastic packaging. Yeah. So I feel like that probably extends to wizards at some point. Okay, that makes sense. So I feel like the twenty fifteen Modern Masters packs walked so that Got my set of some yeah. future iteration yeah. of a cardboard pack can uh, run. Knowing how I'm Watsi guessing. operates, my suspicion was that they did these, they were like, Cool, we'll do those. Two years in the future, yeah. and then by the time these came out and they weren't perfect, and they realized that they needed to take them back to the drawing board, whoever had been in charge of that project had moved to a yeah. different to a different team exactly. on the inside. No one was there to champion it, and everyone yeah. was like, "Oh, this we'll just keep doing the plastic ones." But no, they'll probably they'll so. probably come back to something like this. Hmm. All right, good luck, everybody. Good luck, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Let's do it. Do we leave the lands in? So we got, uh, do we leave question. the basic land in this set? I, I don't think don't so. I think we do. I think there's just a straight up Adam passed me this pack. There, I believe there is oh. no basic land. No, there just isn't a basic land. So yes, leave the lands in. There is there is a foil in every pack, though. Hmm. We got we got uh, Graham and Jeremy on the uh, draft yeah. teams here. Well, there's like a smart pick and there's a fun pick in here. <laughs> All right. Is your pack good, Jeremy? It has a money foil rare. Oh, oh really? I, I couldn't yeah. help it. I peeped already. You're, you're like holding your cards in a spot you don't normally. I had a pretty obviously. easy. Well, I, I yeah, had a pretty easy yeah. choice. It's fine. It's fine. It's my fault. Oh. I, I, I think the choice is relatively easy in terms of what I should take for, like, a good draft card. But remind are, me, there remind are good me later to tell you a sure. story of competitive REL interactions <laughs> with. On day two of GP Vegas with Pillory of the Sleepless, and my opponent trying to <laughs> angle shoot. Like these, these two are the best two draft cards. This card is dollar dollar reduced, and I'm gonna take this, I'm I mean, this one. Dollar reduced are irrelevant in this yeah. in, in this I'm environment. I'm taking the so. beloved card. Hmm. Oh, a, a very much beloved card. Game is made up, and the dollar reduce don't matter. Hmm. This card is good in this set. So this was the third Modern Masters? Second. Second, second Modern Masters set. Ooh. This card is just always very good in limited. What is your pack, Graham? Yeah. It's going to take uh, this Powerful. One. It's powerful stuff. Yep. There's good cards in that pack. I feel like every pack is going to be like, wow, this is well, I forgot to ask, did somebody give us this box, or is this... Oh, yeah, I meant it, it wasn't, it, it, didn't, it didn't have anything written on it, so I don't... Did we just cash it in at, at, back in 2015 for prize, for prize day? For it's, that's that? entirely possible. Yeah. I honestly don't know where it came from. Because, yeah, there's no, there, there was no name on it. You might have just bought it off mm. YJ. I think so. Had a lot of cred for a long time. Well, there... thank, thank you to whoever got us to the point where we're drafting this box. Yeah. Now, on, on the shelf, there was, there, we did have, like, Modern Masters 2015, Eternal Masters, and... Ultimate um, Masters. Ultimate Masters. Yeah. Um, but... Oh, our, sorry. And so there were, I believe, a there was a proposal to have, like, a one of each Masters draft. <laughs> But then Wait, we realized that they were that we'd just be ruining it. It's just it's a like that's one of those things that's like fun in theory, but kind of would be a waste of product. Hmm. 
Interesting. Hmm. This card is really good in this in this set, but I don't know if that's what I'm. I was just reminded of one of my favorite streamer interactions ever with uh, when uh, Doc was streaming regularly, oh, yeah. drafting this format, and one of his viewers told him that he should have. Sunlanced his opponent at the end of turn. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Fire and a sorcery off at instant speed. Yeah. At, an target. at an illegal target. At an illegal target. And there, there was, there was one. Oh, that was the third point with no white mana up. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> he had to. He was like, "Hang on, stop!" And what went. The hell, Doc? He he went right to the. He went. He went to like the the <laughs> just yeah, just like the face cam. It was like, let me explain to you the many ways that that does not work. Yeah, <laughs> you are very wrong. Yeah. In a lot of ways that I find. I breeze past that. Sorry. This is what I. This is what I took. Well, that's what you always say. And last time, you said that you had ended up with uh, how many fallen shinobis? Hmm. Two. <laughs> Two fallen shinobis. Yeah, we were we were degen drafting after a magic fest, and the whole first pack, Adam was like, "Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, help." Am I even a gamer anymore? <laughs> and then, <laughs> spoilers, no. Feeling so fake right now. <laughs> and so I, I figured his draft was a train wreck, and there was a really good uncommon for me. I think it was Saddle Drimestag or something, and I was green red, like just beat downs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I took that instead of the double off color Fallen Shinobi that I was never playing and passed him the Fallen Shinobi, and then he was like, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> and then he showed me the other Fallen Shinobi he had, because it was just a fun draft. And ooh! It's like, is, is this good? If so, why? Cameron, didn't somebody hit you with a Fallen Shinobi and flip your Fallen Shinobi? Fallen Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, they hit me with Fallen Shinobi. This was game one. Such <laughs> rough beats. They hit me with Fallen Shinobi. Or attacked Fallen Shinobi, and I'm like, yeah, I guess that happens. And they flip my fallen shinobi and go, oh. <laughs> oh. They're like, yeah, that's that's rough. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that is rough. Okay. Okay. I think this draft is going well so far. I'm happy. I'm generally pretty happy with how this is going, yeah. I'm happy yeah. to be here. Nelson's just <laughs> He Nelson. said with the most strange voice of all time. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. Are you? I'm here of my own of my own volition. I let chat see all my picks one time in one of these things. Mm. I feel like that's enough for the decade. <laughs> all right, I... You've done enough. Yeah. Hit me up in oh, 2030 yeah, right. if I'm still on FNB up. You can see my draft picks again. It, somehow it feels wrong for people to be drafting and being like, not passing yeah. you any fall <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this draft. I like that's just not how it's supposed to be done. How it's supposed to be done is you're like, oh, geez. This is the one you passed me. Wait, the pack I passed you? Yeah. No, this is the pack I But this is the one we traded. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. The pre pre opening shenanigans pack. That's what he's trying to tell you. Yeah, yeah. This Adam is, and I secretly yes, traded, this traded is the packs. Shenanigans. It wasn't that secret. You're like, hey. Yeah, you didn't keep the secret for very long. It was secret. <laughs> oh, oh, pardon me, pardon me. So they had the secret trade. Let me tell you a secret. It's called the secret. Hmm. How come all the good cards are in the same pack? And Pac-Man isn't this one. <laughs> Why is it every time a pack goes around? I only you know what I always pack. say. Never lucky. Yeah. Hmm. I I loved I that uh, that conspiracy card that was take all the cards in this pack. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then and then, but then you just have to watch every yeah, other you pack just have goes to sit by. There and watch it all go yeah. by. It was such a trap. Yeah. But but there's so often where you're like, oh, that would be perfect for this, and then it, it never, it's never the right move. For what it's worth, just gonna see some people in chat, chatting about that MTGO doc story I was talking about. The 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 poster was sincere. See the the person in chat who suggested that. Doc use Sun Lance at the end of turn to go to their opponent's face was be, was not making a joke. <laughs> Except of their own life. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Pew. 
Although, yeah, actually, fair. usually what happens is then, like, they do something does that, and then, you know, so they get I'm, like I'm doing it. This is ridiculous. Which one? Not a million, no. The people, okay, no, okay, no. the person gets, like, done told. Is it the foil? Yeah. And then they just yeah. kind of go, oh. That was oh. the one I was stoked on opening. Yeah. Know. Yeah. And the, the person gets told, and then they just go, oh, I just saw other people saying that. So <laughs> I was just, you know, yeah, wanted to just, get in it. Yeah. I was just bandwagon jumping. Couldn't you tell? Yeah. I'm, that was that was actually one thing I was definitely bummed about missing at uh, GP Vegas was that uh, Doc was there. Yeah, no, it was good to hang out with him. Yeah. Getting all busy being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Can't stream magic anymore because he's busy with a degree in mm -hmm. law. Well, I'm just sort of blindly taking th stuff that's in my colors at this point. I've, I've kind of fallen off of a plan. Mm -hmm. Getting cards right. that are we might we might back backdoor into that plan. Like getting cards There's that you can chance. cast is a plan. Yeah, no, I think I got a good I think I got a good uh, a good thing, but I think I'm having a good draft. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you're There's all dead. The two people, the two people <laughs> downstream from you. Mm -hmm. How many times has the search pivoted so far? I don't know. Surge? Pack, it's hit five. Okay, really? I, I, I for that. It's 5.22 p.m. I, yeah. I, I would, I would say in this them. time that I tried to, I started drafting one color and I found out very quickly that it was drying up, so I am now a lot happier in it. All and right, I think I've done my job then. Hmm. Yeah, and now now I'm very clearly in the correct color. And I was like, pack three, pick three, I was like, oh, this, is my, this isn't going well. And then yeah. pick four, I was like, it's time to pivot. And pick five. I like, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm very happy with how things are going on my end. All right, shall we? I think I think what it is is it's a master set and all the cards are good. Yeah, that could be it too. Yeah, Adam looks like he's about to die. It does kind of throw <laughs> off it's, your it's a blue blue. <laughs> Do you want to switch? Oh, you opened it already. Well, that's awkward. What? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Just put it back in there. Did your did your everyone foil gets fall off? My just foil, foil fell out on the table right. face up. But everyone's gonna see that card before anyone picks it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. uh, Jared, just uh, real quick before you make your pick, there, could you uh, just show the chat what you ended up with after oh, yeah, one? Oh yeah, to sort of flip through the thing. I'll in, do a card in pick order. Is this? We're mostly tr we're mostly trying to do this this stuff, chat. Mostly trying to do that stuff. Well, my rare. Hmm. Tams. If you're making that joke, you should know better. Yeah. What big white? Is that a recurring thing on North 100? It's we a, try not to. It's a non-recurring <laughs> thing in my life. Pack is not great for me. Look, I can't de yeah. I can't deny the truth. This card was not great. Uh, while it's true that the table can see the chat, uh, they also don't necessarily believe whatever you guys say. So, oh yeah, it's yeah, kind of a wash not... whether it's effective or not as a as a spoiler system. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone just <laughs> at the same time. Uh, I see you've also been playing yeah. Minecraft. Hmm. Hmm. This card is good, and the rest of the cards are not good. <laughs> so, I will By take this card. <laughs> I'll remind myself if I have. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, this this works. This works. Whoo-wee! All right. Okay. Oh, man. Is there Johnny Goldman in this set? I don't right. know. We want both of these, but this one's definitely better. I don't think this will wheel, but maybe. This pack's pretty good. Yeah. There's a chance. Oh, I did not remember this one. Yeah, this card. Amazing. In, in the deck. Sometimes I say in things which, that are just Which I'm attempting to build. Sometimes I say things that are just for me. As, uh, <laughs> as a note... That um, is probably not at all relevant for this uh, draft, but as we uh, discovered during uh, Tap Tap Concede today, uh, at the as as of the uh, um, release of Eldraine, 
uh, all changelings are also food. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Changelings are now food. <laughs> Just heads up. Changelings are now warlocks, nobles, and food. In case you're hungry. Really? Yeah. Food yeah. is a creature type now, too. Because also of, because of uh, ginger, ginger brute. Ginger brute. It's a food golem. So you can eat changelings. Yeah. Or you can feed them to uh, the goose. Ah, delicious and nutritious. In case you're hungry. Yeah, Giga Goose can eat um, changelings. Oh, Giga Chad's yelling at us saying food is an artifact type, not a creature type. Artifact type. But it's like oh. it's a creature. No, food golem it's on a creature. It's a that's creature. Also it is a creature. Yeah, it's totally a creature type. It's not how that works. I'm pretty sure. Food it is modifies not a creature type. It modifies the artifact part of the artifact creature. Wild. Interesting. Mark because Rosewater has exhaustively explained that food is not a creature type. Oh, All right. 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 Oh. Well, look forward to a disappointing episode of Tap Tap and see where oh. we all talk about eating chameleon colossus. I'm gonna the have crowd to, hates I'm it. I'm gonna have to delete so many comments. Yeah, where people are like, <laughs> I'm not uh, gonna, so I'm not gonna delete comments. It's to be fair, it's not, it's not worded artifact food creature golem. It is worded artifact <laughs> creature. Food gold. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a template that works for this, do they? No. They couldn't have made it a super type, I guess. I've decided that food I don't creature. care. To uh, I've decided I don't care, and my game trail changeling is still food. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> to nice. be uh, Look, valid. Look FNTF where we go eat our mutants. Yeah, you can't stop me yeah. eating this card. Yeah, yeah just shh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just to be delicious. fair. Yeah, just because it's not food doesn't mean you can't eat it. Ah, delicious. Very good, Paul. And very good. Nutritious. Wise wood. <laughs> Wise wood. <laughs> Serge, are you okay? <laughs> Wise wood, indeed. Wise wood. Wise um, wood. Oh, I don't really think we need a second one of these, so I'm going to take the first one of these for the old sideboard. Oh, good. That's what I want. He said true love. Can we get some better packs, please? <laughs> nope. Negative. I thought about taking the first one of these, so I'm going to take one and see if it ends up sneaking in. It's good, good with our first pick. This was the really good pack, and I didn't wield the thing I wanted to wield. Yes. Ooh. Good comment here. Um, Discussion makes me wonder why the pumpkin carriage isn't a food vehicle. I could take yeah, this. Yeah, wait a minute. On the off chance. Wait a friggin' minute. <laughs> we Nothing end up adds up this. here. Food can't be eroded onto anything gonna do with that. a tattoo gain three life. But it has that. Ginger Brute has literally the food ability. All right, my deck's real janky. And He's I hope y'all like it. You have another pack. It's not jank yet. Uh, Did you remember that? I didn't remember it. I did not remember this. For a while. Yeah. Like, huh. Well, this that's... card hard. is reasonable. This is for you. Okay. Mr. Stock. I just want to eat my creatures. Yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. Don't we all? Just to spite everyone, I'm going to eat a foil mutable. <laughs> We had some really good riffing about how Mutaval was not food, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let this be a lesson to you, chat. Yeah. <laughs> got it back. Come in got here, come in here with your, your, you know... This card's um, really good, and I'm surprised it's still in the pack. Vigilant following of Mark Rosewater's blog. Uh, you know what that one. does? It just makes us hungry. As if to prove my point, Beej walks in. He heard that we were talking about food. Yeah, he heard that we were hungry and we we're going to eat some Or that or eating creatures. I don't yeah. know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Beej eats the whole set. Did you want some food? We got lots of Doritos. While you're drafting. <gasps> Can we have Doritos and open packs of Modern Masters? <laughs> Just like. The cards have been through enough. <laughs> mm. All right, does anyone want to trade? No, I'm going. your fate for the third set. No, Strong. this is good. This is good. All this right, nobody check me out on my offer. Is, does everyone know what they. They have in their stacks. I think I'm pretty happy. Wait, with that. yeah, we so, should ask yeah. Beach. Beach, yeah. is food a creature type? Uh, yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right, it's settled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beach said, yeah, said food is a creature <laughs> take type. Take back everything I said previously. Yeah. Level, level <laughs> five uh, super judge. Wait, yeah. hang on. What? It would, it would be something you equip to your body, wouldn't it? What food? <laughs> yeah. Equip food to your body. Equip type I mean, inside your body. 
What? I'm loving it. I'm here for this. Right? Sure. Yeah. Loading ready run. It's equipment. You equip food inside your body. Yeah. What? <laughs> what an odd... Yeah, all right, sure. All right. This Quoting pack chat. also isn't amazing for us, but this card is very good. So we're going to... We're going to continue to take this one. This, like, doesn't necessarily help with my what this deck wants to do. But it's not right. terrible. Yeah, the Thrall so I'm gonna, token. I'm going to take it anyway, because it, it's still at least... Oh, what is this? That's oh, your this last, last pack. I don't know what that... Oh, was that for me, then? Oh, was, I passed it to you. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. I yes. got this last pick, last pack, everybody. Sorry that I didn't do the thing properly. All right. Narrator. This he card is scary, fact, <laughs> but we're never taking it. 90% sure we're just taking this one. It used to be a rare, so. There's a lot of cards in this set that used to be a rare. Yeah. That just aren't anymore. I guess. Ooh. 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 Hmm. There's oh, a I know lot of cards Nick, of one color it. in this pack. And we are not that color. So we will take this card. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Cameron is not okay. Oh. Whoa. Why? I know what colors Cam is not in. How did you how did how did you pass this? Oh. Jokes. I should not be invited. I will feel shame at my words and deeds. <laughs> it's just a fine, oh, fine we value creature. Great. That's exact. I've been looking for that this, this whole time. What an interesting selection of tokens we've ended up with. A soldier, an Eldrazi spawn, a sapperling, a mirror, a thrall. And a fairy rogue. That fairy rogue, everything on that fairy rogue is so gorgeous except for the fairy rogue. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real ugly son of a whatever. Wow. Ooh. 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 Am I always in the same pack? Ooh. Oh. Is, are you passing this? No. Yes. All right, I need to. Why? GDI. Well, that brings them up to $125 in scene value, Graham opening 80 alone. Wow. Mm. Mm. Alrighty. I win. Yeah, it's rough. I think we want this one over this one, but both are good. But is chat the best Vorst Claw? Just upgrade a non-foil to a foil. Oh, definitely yes, definitely worth a pick. Reasonable upgrade, I suppose. Play two? Nah. No. You, you have to put the foil one. You have to put the non-foil back though. Is that how that works? Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's a it's a trade-in system. I didn't do that. You just bling My, out your deck. My bad. Sick. I guess it's conceivable we play this if we think flying is very good. But certainly not playing anything else. In this pack, flying so. is pretty good, guys. How am I, I going to make? How am I going to make cuts? Your deck is so good. You have more shuffle in than lands. Yeah, and just run everything. Yeah, mm. that's certainly a, something I could. Are do. we? Are we playing? I, guess, I can build yeah. a sixty-card deck yeah. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like both of us are gonna have like not great decks. I picked this up, by the way. I think my deck could be fine. Pick this up. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm running it though. Graham, I think you should beware of somebody who's being like, "Hey, let's hey, build sixty-card decks." Yeah, we should run a sixty-card deck. Yeah, like, uh, both of us. Uh, I, I disagree. Modern Masters 2015 draft. Was it good for y'all? 
I do. Uh, I wound up with two thirds of a decent deck, I think. I like don't have the strongest. Right. Well, they, the the other third, but I need a third. The right. third is land. Art, it's fine. Art. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that's so, I had a great time drafting. Did anybody open yeah. any any filthy filthy value? I first picked Mole Drifter. Nice. 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 There was a foil. Mage, everyone saw. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Worth more than a pack. Ooh, that's pretty I, spicy to you. Yeah. So I first pick Plax Caster You're Farming. doing it. Oh, oh yeah. hell. Into <laughs> an Agony Warp. Okay. And then those colors kind of disappeared. No and then I can't beat very that card. quickly just went into yeah. Boros. I'm doing this. Nice. nice. So, oh, did like, you wind up with the, uh, the Sun Forger? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, took, oh, yeah. I, I, I cacked something. So I also I also grabbed a little bit of a black splash, some kind of like base red splashing oh, white black yeah. for this is aggro. Go. It's so nice. good. <laughs> this is absurd. I was yeah. like, oh, I can play that. It's, like, like, it's a win condition. Uh, it's like five color wildfire. Oh, was like butcher of. Ooh, <laughs> all right, all right. Nice. Yeah. okay, nice. Yeah. The domain sunburst deck, sweet. Yeah. Uh, okay, well that's it for the draft. We're gonna take uh, a break long enough for us to rearrange this and build our decks, and then we'll be back for round one, which is going to be to, de- to, to be determined who that is, but it, obviously it'll be to what us. This, yeah. mm. just, Going to be TBD. Uh, yeah, and uh, just to clarify, we're not going to do, there's not going to be an on-camera deck build, just uh, no, for we're just time gonna... reasons. Yeah. So. Unless I finish really fast. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> don't go away. We'll be, we'll be back soon. Hello and welcome back to the Friday Night Paper Fight. Thank you for sticking with us through the short break. Uh, a reminder, please sub to our new YouTube channel. <laughs> Someone was mentioning it in the chat during the break. And I was like, oh yes, right, yes. It, we, it, it has a custom URL now. Finally, it is youtube.com slash LRRMTG as opposed to a 15 character long series of gibberish. Following Loading Ray Run, now also a proliferate deck. Mm. Ah. Mm-hmm. So round one, Surge Hi. versus Nelson. It's the judge off. Yep. And uh, they, we rolled dice off camera, and uh, Nelly won and chose to play first. Play. And uh, we kept seven? We yeah. kept seven. Okay. Let's do it. Fight me. All right. Good luck, Surge. Good luck, friend. Mountain, go. Mountain, go. Nice. I like your style. Thank you. You're uh, very handsome. I like that both of you are. Both of your deck names are referencing cards that are not even in your deck. Or that are not in your decks, not even in this set. Neither of them are in this set, right? I've got a Soul, Pl- Soul Bright Flame Kin yeah. on Hunter 2. Oh I did it. Okay. So we were so talking bright. about. It's so vivid. Go ahead. We were talking I about this. It. Dead. Good idea. The we most were, vivid. <laughs> we were talking about this before we went live today. The Soul Bright Flame Kin. You can do a thing with it and yeah. another, another yep. one of the elementals. Uh oh. Yeah. Where you just. I'm going to put this back on the card reader for a moment. You. Throw all the mana into it, and then you then it makes all that mana, and then you use that mana to activate a different elemental that gives all your elementals plus two plus zero oh, like a couple times, mm. and then you just have this like squad of abnormally powerful trampley things. Cranial plating. Oh it. my good lord! When talk idol becomes a creature, you got it. Give it the plating. Yeah. Hit you for four. I'm gonna take. No damage. Yeah, I thought. I was like, here comes the burn spell. Yeah. Here comes the burn spell. Wow, actual lightning bolt. Look at that. Go to you. We got ourselves a game of magic. Cloud elemental. Back to you. Untap. Draw. You hurt my creature, I hurt your creature. That's all we do in this game. <laughs> Why do they hate each Two other? Two souls in a turn. Okay. Uh, comes and play tap. Tap. I counters. have three yeah. counters. We could probably slow it down a bit. We're going pretty fast here. I'll pass to you. Like, the bolts are flying back and forth. Yeah. That's what they do. Those yeah. bolts fly. Yeah. I've got an incandescent soul stoke. Back to you, sir. May I read this yes. one? Yes. Tap and tack. You may put an elemental card. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Countered? Dead immediately? No. No? Uh, no, no. First no. lighting? No, no, no. no, okay. no, no. I got, it's in my it's, graveyard. It's a 2 2. You might have two. You might have four. I don't know. There um, weren't any foil goys. So. Tap for black. Yeah. Um, It ain't pretty. Because you're still going to get a bunch of activated hmm. abilities, yeah. but it can't attack or block, and there's a win con yeah. on the board now. Pass, take All right. one. All right, it's not pretty, but it is a yeah. pillory. <laughs> so as I learned, this was the story that I had that oh, I yeah. had to Great. share. Good segue. As yeah. I learned in uh, professional REL on day two of GP Vegas, uh, that is because this is an ability of the creature. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it's my job it to, remember. Oh. to remember. Because this is an ability my creature yeah. has. I mean, I which did. Which is different now, from yeah. narcolepsy. Right. Which, which says, is also in the set. Which says the, the controller narcolepsy just has to tap And it. so we had a thing where uh, I was like, Go. where it was my opponent's upkeep, and I was waiting for them to tell me about the pillory, and I was, and they drew their card, and I went, you didn't do your pillory, and, oh, they yeah. were, and then they tried to untap the thing with narcolepsy, and I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> that doesn't untap. He's like, well, you didn't say anything. I was like, you didn't give me a chance. Right. So Blood we, ogre. We called the judge, yeah. it was fine. Give it the plates. That's fine. Pass. It's now a 4-2 with first strike. I'll burn it. <laughs> That's why I did that this turn. Eventually, one of us will run out of removal. I've got a burst light and two sun lances. The... Sorry, oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I've actually did forget the last one. Sorry yeah, about that. Okay. That's my job. Six Talking mana. Uh oh. Ether snipe. Returning. No. Back to you. Hey, now it's a four four. My Go win ahead. con. Go. <clears throat> Tap. Hey, now it's a four four. <laughs> Cast Incandescent Soul Stone. Ah! Okay. Attack for five. Elemental. It's an elemental? Uh-oh. Kill right. this during combat? No, 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 no. no. I'm, taking, I'm taking five. I would choose to take five, please. I'll sir. pay two life to cast Tezzeret's Gambit. That card's so hot. Would I like would to... proliferate nothing. But there's a legal target right here. I know, right I screwed here. up. I'm terrible at magic. All right. Play Evolving Wilds. Yeah. Sacrifice Evolving Wilds. Put it land to play top Seagull. What land? Uh, I Is think it a it's third gonna color? be a mountain. Okay. Let's do a mountain. Mountains are good. I think I've got this. You've got it. Perfect. He's got it. He's got uh, it. Uh, pass got to it. you. He's got it. Yeah. Ooh, baby. He's got the touch. Uh, seven damage. <sighs> I'll yeah. I'll try to try to deal you seven. Back to you, champ. Good draw. Good draw. Good okay. draw. Okay. I feel like that wasn't necessarily a good draw. But what are you talking about? It's fine. Uh, say go. Lore, win, beat, down. Sur mm. Surge, poker Back face, Jaeger. Seven. Yeah. I go to one? Cool. You got a burn spell? No. Ulamog's Crusher. <laughs> Back to you. I took this over the three mana, the Inner Flame Igniter. That's the uh, one. But I'm the thing is, Soul Bright Flame can, can also cast this guy, because he makes eight mana. Yeah. <laughs> so... I think it's okay. Uh, none of your creatures can block? Mm, they all take one and they can't block. Yeah. Uh, game two. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to show you I have this wrap in flames. Yeah. yeah. Might as yeah. well, might as well uh, wrap, wrap Nelly's stuff uh, in flames. Uh, uh, if you, well, yeah, it's too many lands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, too many. Too many. I took, the, oppor I took the opportunity I say no. PAX recently to upgrade our dice stock. So now I have uh, more I have more of the dice we had before, the green, blue, and red ones. Yeah. Uh, but I also have them now also in black and white. Which I think is kind of great. Yeah, no, Did I think it's useful. Better ways to represent what's happening in the board. Yeah, well, we have uh, all the colors now. Yeah. Also, which is, so, which is handy. Yeah, when you're uh, popping off with your storm deck, you need to track all your colors of mana. Yeah, okay, Ooh. hang on. All right. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, look forward to that in the next uh, Highlander paper fight, I suppose. So, oh, uh, Okay. So the Warbo says, with the chat a little bit less hectic, Ginger Brute's artifact creature food golem works like Dryad Arbor's land creature forest dryad. Forest not being a creature type. Uh, it's just... Ah, yes. It, it there just is an is, example It of just this. is there. So... All right. Mm. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Ah, logic. It's, Our I mean, it's, it's true that it is I don't know not it's possible to de deduce that from the actual card. Yeah. That's also true of Dryad Arbor, I guess. Th the difference being, like, when you see forest next to the creature type, you're already familiar with forest. Right, right, right. It's not so a it doesn't new catch thing. you off guard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're just like, right, this is just the type of land it is. Oh, and it has a creature type next to it, too. Also, when you look at Dryad Arbor, you don't first think, this is that looks not delicious. a creature. Oh. Sure. No, well, the thing is, with, with Ginger Brute, you look and you're like, I know, I know artifact creatures. They've been around since Juggernaut. Like, this is a creature. It's also an artifact. That's fine. But when you look at Dryad Arbor, because it's the only one of its kind, you're like, this is this weird land that's also a land where elf. Like, immediately, Art this thing is a, a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Has, has an artifact creature with an artifact type ever existed before? If the, answer that, to if the answer to that is no, then I feel redeemed. There's not a lot of artifact subtypes other than, like, uh, equipment, fortification, vehicle. 
Yeah. Like, there's not there's not a lot of things. The vehicle that... is also not a creature type. Exactly. Not a creature it's, type. That that's one thing. is exactly. a, an artifact yeah. type, right? Yeah. <laughs> Th- those those are artifact types. Not <laughs> artifact types. land food mountain. Yeah. Mm, uh, mountain. I want to eat there. Do you think it's worth doing a special card Open that restaurant for the PPR specifically on Ginger Brute since this is causing so much I wouldn't stuff. mind. I wouldn't mind if we do a like. We, we do someone like, just played Ginger Brute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, maybe, right. maybe. And you're like, it is not Easy. a food. We're not Ginger promising Brute Easter egg. Yeah. It's well, kind of a tribal we set. We have to play. We have to play Ginger Brute. Did first. you see on Twitter that someone asked for us to do the whole judge video in iambic pentameter <laughs> or rhyming couplets? That sounds. <laughs> Like an absolute ass pain. I, I was just like, no. I write those, and I'm not that good of a writer. Oh, yeah. so yeah, fun um, idea. I'm not capable of it. Somebody said. Somebody asked me how hype I was for Throne of Eldraine on a scale of one to the Picard trailer. Uh-uh. <laughs> so on that scale, uh, pretty good. Like a seven, which is to say, I'm very, very, very excited about Throne of Eldraine. <laughs> but if you put the scale between one and the Picard trailer. Yeah, there's a massive. Yeah. That's quite a spread. It's quite a food mountain of options. Yeah. You have so much removal. You too. We spent the whole first like six turns just killing each other's stuff. Have you thought about not killing my stuff? I'm gonna ask you the same question. Uh, I, I I saw in uh, in a thread on the Meta TCG subreddit where they were, they were talking about Ginger Brute, uh, a push to have uh, fruitcake elemental oracle to also uh, yeah. Have, <laughs> of the food so love it but fruitcake elemental would is, sign that petition it is actually is a creature it so is if not they put artifact. it on there yeah yeah but fruitcake elemental is also silver border so who who cares sure uh-huh. uh huh i i guess i'll keep this is your this sense. fruitcake elemental can't be eaten though cuz you don't eat fruitcake look i eat fruitcake cuz i make great it- fruitcake but I guess I think no. It I is guess still... the errata would be if it has the if fruitcake elemental gets the food subtype, then you would be able to pay two tap and sack it to gain free life. All I right. do. I like Let's the fight. idea that it is yeah. the food subtype, but it is still indestructible. That that'd be good. All right, yes. cannot be sacrificed. Let's get in the game. Let's eat. Good luck, Serge. Good yep. luck to you as well. Do you want to do it now or later? I'll do it now. Get okay. a mountain. Go to you. I mean, I'm not expecting Me too. to strip mine. Wow, powerful oh. magic. The evolving wilds mirror match. Both no, getting no. mountains. Look at us both cleverly thinning out our decks. Yeah. I'm shuffling the thing I put to the bottom into a random location. You're so clever. <laughs> uh, I learned from the best. Berserker. Shit. Please don't hurt me. It's a 1-1. One, one. I'm getting no value. It's okay. I mean, th- the thing about small Berserker for two mana, on turn two specifically, is that it hooks up the rest of your Bloodthirst because it has Menace, right? Yeah. Mm. It has old Benace. Yeah. Old templated Benace. Goblin War Drum's ability. That's Thank what we used to call it. Vein. Two mana. Smoke Breeder. Aha! Uh-huh. Back to you. What do you do? As I, add, I make mana. Only to cast Elemental Ramp. That's right. Mm. All right. Untap. Draw. Hit you for one. It hurts. Aha. Uh-huh. I'm on the board. Uh, but this Blood Ogre yeah. smells blood and comes uh-huh. out more swole. I have a 3-3 three, three first strike. And the, nat- and and the natural Mardu. What's up? That's nice. Well, I mean, I had, I had an Evolving Wild. It's not that natural. Is it natural? The, the unnatural Mardu of right. Serge Yeager. Yeah. Three mana. Cloud Elemental. Okay. Soul Bright Flamekin. And two mana. All right. Go I ahead. Can't help but notice that you have two blockers now. I do. Two. What? what? I, oh, it just. Smoke Breaker kind taps of. for two? Yeah. Yoink. All right. Two mana in any combination of colors. Cloud Elemental can only block creatures with flying. I like yep. that Cloud Elemental. So which one, which one do you want to block? This actually isn't the blocker. It can't block? It. I just said it out loud. Can't oh. It? Ah. It's, it's, it's got the welcome turn. I'll take four, please. Okay. Uh, oh, no blocks. <laughs> no blocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have your Sorry. priority. Uh, cranial plating and pass. Todd Elemental is just sitting up in the sky. Like, hey, stop that. Cast or activated abilities as well? Yeah, activated abilities. Okay. Yeah. In this mana, only to cast elemental spells or activate abilities of elementals, like Soulbright Flamekin. Mm-hmm. I'll attack for five. Ooh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, no effects. Back to you. I too can hit for five. Six, even. Maybe more. Uh, Sphere of the Sun. More than six. The answer is. Oh, sorry. The answer is more than six. Uh, this is here. Uh, I'm going to give it to this friend. Yep. Spread our damage out. 
Attack you for one, Seven, right? two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. Yep, I was thinking the cranial plating was doing two already. I take six. Go. Two mana. Uh, we've entered the tank mode. Tanking. Sometimes it takes a while to get there. Yeah, it's true. I'm curious what your what your first pick was that made you build around a red blue deck and wish you had a Johnny. Uh, Mad Wolf 1290. Cranial plating has a normal equip cost of a single mana, but then an alternate instant speed equip cost of black black. Mm -hmm. You can use either. All right, I'll. Use this ability to give this trample. I target creature. Okay, you've given my creature trample. Do you have destroy target creature with trample? I, trample. I'll use this ability to give this trample. Okay, you've done it twice now. I'll use this ability to give this trample. Okay, you now have. I have eight red mana. Okay. Okay, I'll cast helium squirter with, for a blue and four red mana, so leaving have... four red in the pool. And I have a. That's fine. Hydrator. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Sorry, I thought you just wanted the mana pool. So this gets three plus one plus one counters. Okay. And then I'll use one red mana to deal two damage to this. Cards in hand? One. To deal how much to it? Two. Sure. I protect it. Okay. You block it. No. I'll attack for four. All right, I go to 11. Go ahead. Three mana empties from your pool. Yep. I attack. Yep. No blocks. Hold on. Holding on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Sure. Woo! All right. <laughs> Game three. Brute Force, what are you doing in here? You're you're in the wrong color, Brute Force. Yeah, yeah. The color shifted giant growth. That looks growth. an awful lot like a giant growth to me. Yeah, yeah. See, I like the first time it was printed, it was plane shifted. Yeah. And so it was one of the it used the the dark the the the, the darker inverted color card frame. But then when they re, when they've reprinted it, they're like, that would be weird. So now it's just a normal card. It's just red for plus three, plus three. Was the art substantially different? No, the, the, art, the art was the same, but the card frame, the plane shifted card frame is oh, different. Oh, okay. Because it was meant to be a signifier of like, this is weird. Sure, right, right, right. Yeah. It looks actually similar to the, um, the treatment that they use for the uh, extended art cards on Arena. Okay. The, the, the sort of the... Not, it's not inverted, it's just like... Well, it's like a, rather than being like a lighter red with a darker red border, it's darker red with a lighter red border. Hmm. One of the things I think I appreciate the most about you is your ability to notice font family, like, grapple, like, honestly, I, <laughs> my brain doesn't work that way. I don't pick up stuff like that. Mm. And that's always fascinating when you look at something like, isn't this neat? This is the first time they've changed their font since X. And I'm like, we were, we were filming what? Friday Nights and YJ the other day, and I was, I was pointing out font stuff about Magic product. And Serge was like, I've never considered that. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. If like, you're interested to learn more, check out Rhystic Studies <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be a pretty exciting set for Sam. Yeah. Like right, just art. like what they're doing with all the borders and all the text and all the art. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, specifically the 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 special on on the card frame. Hmm. Right. It's just it's so good to be like the the way he addresses the the statement that doesn't look like a magic card. Yeah, and it's, right? the, and it's like really because look at all of this, yeah. and it's just sort of like it's like yeah. It's what, it's what? amazing how how many things do look like a magic card. There, well, that's what it used to look like when it was printed. Oh. White text, white text in the name and type line on darker red, and the whole the whole thing was different. Like that's every yeah. every part so of that is plane shifted card. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Paul. You were saying. I was just saying what what. Thanks, what, uh, Border do people say don't look like? 
Many. Right? Uh, like, mostly Ammon Ket invocations. That's a big one. That's, that's the, the most, one, yeah. most I mean, common. This doesn't yeah. look like a magic card. And and but yeah, also like that was, a, that, was, that was the most extreme diversion. But just in that in that video, when you see the extent of how many different card frames there have been and how different they look, mm. that it's sort of like, oh, it's really interesting to see how like, many how many things are the same across all of them. I would say, yeah. I mean, to me, the like future shifted are the ones that don't look right. Yeah, those are very strange. Because. Like, like those, especially the full art ones, like uh, the original Nessian Corsair and uh, Blade of the yeah, First Yeah, to me, those don't look like th okay. those don't look okay. like magic cards. Yeah. But you know, because they change, because it's not only the look, but it's also like the position of everything. Mm -hmm. Future Sight was a weird place. Yeah. LR Arbot says the stream has been live for eight hours. That is the up dog. Um, so there's up time, which is actual, and then up dog is the time that we've been live in dog years. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Nemo Woodbine. The more you know. Um, so are you on sevens? What are we doing? About? Surge cap seven. Nelson has mulligan to six. I feel like there's stats somewhere considering. that would probably tell you that updog is used more often than the actual uptime one. <laughs> Almost definitely. I will put this one on the bottom. They also got you with a joke when you said, what's up, dog? Yes, like, ha, gets me. Boom, roasted. What up, dog? Just playing some magic with Surge. No one drop, A. Eh? I don't think I have any in my deck. Um, you neither, I suppose. I'm going to turn this into a swamp, then pass. We we used to have the uh, the like last tweet, and then last tweet, but uh, where it would do like word substitution or letter substitutions. Right. It was like using like Doge words or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Right. I but it, I I'm I often I'm bad with spelling yeah. and I get paranoid about. You know, misspelling a tweet anyway, and it, mm. it would always throw me off. Via Shino Slaughtermaster. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Do watch you, out! Watch out you, for that green splash. Do you? I was gonna say, do you even have a green source? I'd rather, I'd rather you didn't. Repeal. Dose. I've been dosed. Your move. A dose of damage. Uh, Just one I'd dose. rather you didn't. I don't. Guess who's back? Yep. Back again. Pass to you. Via Shino Near Slaughtermaster. Perfect back. again. Yeah. Tell a friend. That's why he's got a double strike. Yep. Chody's perfect. You can't stop. Go can't ahead. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, right. Sphere of the Suns. Can't stop getting I away attack. with it. No blocks. Ooh, take two. I'm taking two. Haha. -ha. You fell for my trap card. Blood Ogre is ready. You got it. And bloody. Pass. I think this card is really good. And Blood Ogre? You should, Blood Ogre. And you should put it in your hand and hold it. And let it know that you love it. And take a damage for, for your trouble. <laughs> That's right. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Lose one life. Dose. I go to 15. Thinking. Take two doses of Soul Bright Flamekin and call me in the morning. Say good. But don't actually call me because. <laughs> just text me or something. Never, Yikes. never actually call me. Yeah, take two I, and call I, me in the morning, but don't call don't, me. I never want to talk to people on the phone. Don't really call me. Yeah, that's fine. Guess who's back? No blocks. Take two. Yep. All right, so you go to 16. Back again. Yep. Blood Ogre's back. <laughs> go ahead. Electrolyze one and one. <gasps> Guess I should have done it before. I was so greedy waiting to see if you have something. Right? I played you. So greedy. Ah, I saw that card. I'm sorry. I oh, should did shuffle. You cheat? I so know this one. Do you have the card you're supposed to have? Yeah. Yes. I, okay. I drew yeah. normal. Please shuffle. I'm shuffling. Uh, this is going to be your first GRV. <laughs> Looking at extra yeah, cards. And this is interesting. You kept this one aside because that card's known information. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. this one. Yeah. yeah, so you only randomize the part of the deck that is unknown. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've drawn a card for the turn. Two more of these and we'll send you directly to the Shadow Realm, as is tradition for GRV escalations among judges. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's totally what happens. <laughs> Been known to Shadow Realm from oh, time to time. The, the Phantom Zone. Right, yes. All right, so this is why my deck is called as a Johnny in this set. Thunderblust. Ah. There's a player who doesn't play my IJ anymore, but used to play our FNMs religiously, and his favorite deck that he was very adamant and loud about was a Johnny and Thunderblust from Lorwyn Block. Oh, so you can play. Like... You just charge your your Thunderblust in, and then after combat, you put a plus one plus one counter on all your creatures. Right. So you just keep buying back Thunderblust. Thunderblust He's very excited about that. Seems very scary. I'm gonna say go. Well, not against a two two first strike. 
Three, three for a strike. Yeah. Right. It doesn't have flying, even though it looks like it definitely should. Yeah. Right. Art problem. Or whatever. Yeah. Non-flying. has non-flying. That's really, what they call it. I really think it's supposed to be called Thunder Bust. Maybe. Well, because Blust but, is also like a wind. Right. But some, right? Some, yeah, somebody like misspoke on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I, for, I totally, when you cast it, I was like, uh-oh, Surge is going to get seven, but no. That'd be nice. Mm. Pardon? No, it wouldn't. Well, it'd be nice for Surge. I don't want to be... <laughs> be nice for Surge. Get seven. It's nice for you. Well, he's on tilt. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least Thunderblast did that. He didn't attack. Thinking is hard, okay? <laughs> When was the last time you had to think about anything? I don't even remember. Right? Do you, Nelson, take this? Yeah. <laughs> I attack for three first strike. No blocks. But I could. Am I dead? No. Am I dead? No. Just take three. Okay. Second main. Guess who's More back? More blood ogres. No, that guy. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Here's that back. That's a different new one. Yeah, it's fine. Shh. Okay. 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 Equips. Two one. All of the wall of first strike surge and. Okay. Ooh. Three, one, double strike. Done? Yes. We call Are you that, done? We call that rude. We call that the double strike, please. Are you done yet? <clears throat> yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Is that right, chat? Yeah. Am I yeah. the right life total? I hit you. I swear to God, I have not been paying attention at all. I did it. Card scanner. <gasps> Card scanner for oh the Glintar. Glintar Isle. Oh, there okay. you go. Thank you. It's just an artifact. Do we call that that? The card scanner. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think we do. I think it's fine. We usually say card, card reader. Card reader. I sometimes just go <coughs> bounce. <coughs> Ooh, this is dead. Nine. Oh, you okay? So you evoked ether snipe. Yep. Wow, I'm at five. More fiery boys. Your okay. move. I sure am at five. What? What is an ether snipe? Is yeah. <laughs> like snipe makes it sound like it's it's like this little thing that's messing with you. But if you look at the picture, it it's looks, like huge. It looks like, like some kind of enormous landborn fish. We refer to her as fish bus. <laughs> <laughs> so in fi- my in my coven. The fi- the fish bus yes. j- drives your uh drives the other creature yes. back into your opponent's The wall of first strike is real. Well, apparently it wasn't real enough last time. Uh, well, you only had one one brick in the wall. I just had to bounce one brick. Say go. It's fine. One card in Oh, hand? that's the funniest card in my deck to draw. Mm-hmm. Goop. Thirteen. It's thinking. We've developed a pattern of thinking, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. Attack. Those two? Yep. Yeah. You have how many cards in hand? Three. Three. Yeah. Damage? Yeah. Persist? Yeah. We'll say minus counter. Okay. Should be actual minus Yeah, but they're really small. Ooh. This is the problem. Go. This okay? Yeah. No stiff? No yeah, stifle. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. You <laughs> got your evolving wilds, idiot. Getcha. Oh yeah, the player's <clears throat> command is not accurate. I, I don't know what they're playing, but I appreciate the description flesh with hat. Oh, they were Yeah, that was from I don't know why. Th- what game was that from? 22nd of August. Has that not been updated since the 22nd? That would be like, uh, that would be the Heave Ho stream. All right. Am I dead? Not so yet. close. It's so close. This is a really tight one. Yeah. Trample is the problem. No. <laughs> is it? Uh, may- maybe. Like, I-, I need to have first strike in order for trample to matter in this match. Right. Sorry. First strike is the problem for Nelson. One of those pesky combat damage steps. Yep. Choo-choo! Okay. Holy hell, Kite. Combat? 
May I read this one? Yeah. Whenever it attacks, you may pay seven if you do untap all attacking creatures, and after that, there's an additional combat phase. Right. I accept. Attack. Okay, I animate my Glintalk idol. Okay. I block. Okay. Pass. Untap, untap. Hokai Draw. Charger is just like, let's do it again! <laughs> <laughs> all right, someone's got to kill someone at some point very soon. I think I've got lethal. Mighty Leap, giving this plus two, plus two, and flying. Sure. Uh, attacks. Brute Force. Sure. Explodes. So 14. I, for 14, yeah. So, yeah. I rip, so I rip Evolving Wild's previous turn. Yeah. Right. You're tapped out, you can't animate. Oh! Pretty funny, right? Right, 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 right. Oh. I considered not playing this, because the format's quite fast. Mm. So if you but had, it's just yeah. like, usually if you have an interplay tap duel in a two-color deck, you play one, it just like makes makes you have more keeps. Totally. Oh, oh yeah. You had, you had Guile. I just drew Guile last turn. Yeah, that doesn't do anything here. Um, oh, that was so tight! Wow, we. Yep. Thanks for the game, my friend. Thanks for the game. So well played. Uh, cool. That was round one. Um, <laughs> we're going to take a very quick break, and then we're going to come back with round two, which is going to be someone versus someone. We haven't worked this out yet. Uh, don't go away. We'll be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a slightly delayed round two of the, what is this, M15 Modern Masters? MM15? MM? It's not, yeah, because it's not... MM15. Sure. We're back with more Modern Masters. On my left, your right, we have Adam Savadan playing, what, you got five five colors of, of hopes and dreams? Yeah. All right, you seem really proud and confident in your decisions. I'm, no. Excellent. <laughs> I'm not, man. This deck stinks. And on my right, your left, Cameron Lauder playing presumably two colors? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, exactly two colors. Of solid choices? Two and... colors of my heart. Excellent. I'm sure this is going to be some good, good old clean magic here mm -hmm. on the Friday Night Paper Fight. Yeah. It says it's red, though. Uh, tap it again. You were muted. Just tap it. Don't oh, hold. Shoot. There you go. Yeah, that's the mute there. button. Nailed it. Nailed it. Who <laughs> mutes that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that was... Yeah, okay. if it's ever read, just tap hey, it. Hey, hi. There we go. Now you can hear Adam yeah. even better. Mm. All right. Um, we rolled to determine who goes first. Yeah. And the winner was... Me. Adam. Yeah. Uh, you're both keeping seven? Yeah. Without much further ado, Magic okay. players, let's rumble. Yeah, okay. I'll have you know the last time I faced five-color Jake, <laughs> I had a rough... Two hours. So, Forrest, go ahead. I don't want to ask for any other weird reason, but do you have bacon in or around your pockets, Adam? No. Nope. Because if you do, please declare Planes. it now. Go. Okay. You have to tell us if you have bacon. Uh, I'm going to play this Demir Aqueduct. Ah, yes. Yeah. The There's always the danger if you're on the draw for that. You're like cards in hand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Island. Yeah. Mirror Smith. Ooh. You what? 2-1. Mirror whenever mirror. you cast an artifact spell, you may pay one generic mana if you do put a 1-1 one, one mirror token into play. Okay. Say go, or create a 1-1 one, one mirror token. Uh... Okay. <laughs> the thinking commences. I'm gonna play his mountain. Alright, uh -oh. three colors. I'm gonna play a dragon soul knight. First strike 2-2 two, two with a 5-color activated ability. Yes. Wooberg until end of turn. It becomes a dragon. Gets, does it say plus 5, plus 3? <coughs> plus, plus 3. Uh, no, plus, plus 5, plus, plus three. 3. What a weird number. Yeah. Gains Holy flying God. and trample. Go so ahead. it becomes a 7-5 flying tramp. Flample dragon. Go ahead, Cameron. And I know he's got a forest in hand. Yes. That's extremely bad news. <laughs> Um, planes. Yes. Arrest the Dragon Ooh. Soul Knight. Yes. Can't attack, nor block, nor activate any of its abilities. You're yes. coming with me. <laughs> and then I attack with Mirror Smith. Yes. Uh, Adam goes down to 18. Yeah. Cameron, you're using the GP lands? I am. Yeah. Or the you're Magic finished. Fest lands. Are you yeah. finished? Uh, I am finished. Okay. The planes art in particular is stunning. Yeah, the Kaladesh planes mm, and the Ixalan Islands are very handsome. Tap four. Four mana from Adam over here. 
Uh oh. Uh, Kozilek's Predator. Uh oh. You get two Metroids. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we do. We have two Metroids. I will. Here? I will fetch two Metroids. Wait, wait, no, the zero no. ones. Yeah, the zero. I got it. Metroids have been summoned. Go ahead, I don't Cameron. want you to. Planes. Yep. Blinding Soul Eater. Yes. Paying one to make a mirror. Yep. Hello. So, Hi. For Phyrexian White Mana, you may tap target creature. No restriction, which is cool. And mm -hmm. then you, act, you paid the extra off the mirror smith. Okay. I did. Yeah. Ah. Um, and then I shall say go. Okay. That Soul Eater seems strong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, being able to tap out and play it. Uh oh. Oh man. We have Wooberg. We have Wooberg. Natural Wooberg. <laughs> Wooberg. Woo. <laughs> uh, do I care? He could triple block, but then I kill Lemire Smith for sure. Yeah. Uh, combat. No blocks. Okay. Okay. When it's down to seventeen. Uh, I'll play a Wayfarer's Bottle. Mm-hmm. I remember um, not too long ago when I was saying the set has no fixing, go and ahead, suddenly Adam on turn 5 has perfect, perfect Wooberg. There's a lot of fixing. Yeah. Am I using Snowlands? Yes. There's no, there's there's no, no Snow Synergy, yeah. so... Eh. I mean, I the stakes have not. never been lower, I right? See why it's a, is it a problem? I wouldn't use them in a tournament. I just use them when I'm drafting. I haven't played a land this turn because I played Soul Eater and paid for Mirror Smith last turn. Correct. Yeah. Planes. For kitchen table magic, it is not Rusted a problem. Rusted Relic. Yes. That's a 5-5? Five five? Yes. Okay. And I will pay the one yeah. to make another mirror. Yes. Nice. Uh, the old four mana five five. Declare attacks. Yeah. I have been three. All right, Adam is down to fifteen. Yeah. I'll say go. Okay. Uh, in a turn. I'll sack this. It goes on the battlefield, right? Uh yeah. yeah. Adam can just cast Kozilek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Potentially nine. Do we know if Adam has Eldrazi? Or are you just, are you just worried about stuff now? Uh-oh. I may have outside of game knowledge. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, luckily, Poker Face Savadan over there is giving away <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Don't you worry. About nothing. <laughs> uh, Every little thing is going to be, be all right. right. Okay. Untap. Crossed it. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, side mountain. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, go ahead, Kim. Oh. Okay. Every turn the Eldrazi doesn't come down is the turn you've actually won a little. <laughs> Feels good. Every every turn without an Eldrazi is a gift. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's precious. Yeah. Treasure these turns, Cameron. <laughs> Um, when you think back, you'll remember them as the best turns of your life. <laughs> Attack with the Rusted Relic. Um, yeah, I'll take five. Five takes you from 15 and down to 10. Second main. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Five. Mold Drifter. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, what a good card. That's a good card. Draw two cards. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, ah, five mana two two, that doesn't seem good. Five mana two two fly. Uh, then I put an Azorius Chancery into play. Yeah. Returning this planes yeah. to my hand. But then you get to the line of text, draw two cards. And yeah. You think to yourself, whew. Yeah. I just had a very good turn. Mm -hmm. I feel good about everything that happened. Uh, I'll say go. Okay. 
Uh, where's this island? Uh, He's found redundancy in his Wooburg. This will just lightning bolt the mall drifter. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you already got your value, it's fine. Go ahead, yeah. Cameron. Maybe I should have killed the mirror smith, but. I mean, you are supposed to bolt the bird, and yeah. the mole drifter does have wings. Yeah. Um, okay, brain, help me out here. Um, Serge, could I bother you to get me a germ token? Please? I'd be happy to. I will also pay the mirror smith tax. Mm hmm. Uh, flare husk, living weapon. Hey there, little fella. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen to you. <laughs> just, just hop Hello. inside of this robot. You can pilot it like an Eva. Get inside the flare husk, Drew. <laughs> um. Attack with rusted relic. Or, hmm. <clears throat> Thinking. I'll tap the predator with mm -hmm. soul eater. Mm -hmm. And then we will crundle with the team. Yeah. Wow. Uh block there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'll take four. Four. Yeah. Taking you down to six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Floating one, or er, white, blue, blue, mm -hmm. cumulox, float yep. two blue, mm -hmm. one, one white floating. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, use the one white to cast a mirror enforcer. Yeah. This board just got wide. Mm -hmm. I'll say go. Can you just try and shrink? Just condense it just a little bit on that end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's game two. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Your deck really started to pop off there. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I was fighting anyone for most of the pieces, so... I was able to wheel some good cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that uh, that Mir Smith, you know, she looks all uh, you know wonderful and serene and stuff. But you know, she's making like the Mir Battle Sphere yeah. in, in the back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll take the play again. Totally. Yeah, she's just making Mir as like this planeswalker is like make Mir faster. That the deck you have requires such like a critical density of things to pull off mm -hmm. and you can see when you get it you're like oh oh yeah i'll cast this four four for free what's up right yeah yeah and yeah the amount of affinity value you got off of the incremental value off of your your mere friend there that was cool yeah yeah i i mean i've never played this deck before i barely played this format at all mm. um but Apparently, affinity is a good mechanic. Who knew? Um, I've been that. What? Which was the mirror smith? Yes. Uh, I, has been a borderline inclusion for me in uh, in Highlander sometimes. Oh yeah. On a similar deck, you know, you try and make affinity off of that, mm -hmm. and it's you're like ah, oh. feels pretty good to cast a Moxon <laughs> when you have one of those in play. Yeah. We, maybe hmm. we'll convert you into an affinity mm. player, Cameron. We'll see. What do you think? I think that that is statistically unlikely. Yeah, I I'll mean, keep this. Um, oh. <laughs> like having having all land or having. But no what are land. the chances of yeah. drawing land next game? I mean, it's, See, it's seems, just going to yeah. be gas from now on. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. 
I guess you as our resident land player. Yeah. Can... So as the as the number one lands player in the format. I understand it's a very powerful archetype. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot, but I really don't see it right now. Yeah. Um, more lands is always better. You just yeah. want to drown your opponents. In well, lands. they can't be counterspelled. It's true. Right? Yeah. They can't respond to them on the stack. Mm -hmm. Just think about Ooh. that for a second. Yeah. Can't be responded to on the stack. Number one lands player. Sorry, who's Ben Wheeler? Never heard of him. Yeah. So you're keeping your seven? Yeah. Okay. All right. I've, I've also heard the piece of advice that is, you are not London mulliganing enough. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Whatever whatever it is you have, you are not London mulliganing enough. Um. Yeah, I'll keep this. Goodbye. Back you go. All right. All right, players. Game round. Game two. Yeah. Game two. <laughs> uh, play a mountain. Cast away first ball. All right. Go ahead. Good start. Planes. Yeah. Court homunculus. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good start. Look at his little coat. <laughs> I like how he's standing on like a pedestal. Is that it? Yep. Yeah, actually really short. Yeah. Right? Um. And Kim Cootie, Royal Court. You think you think they hang out with Dovin? Mm. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll play this Rakdos Carnarian. Go ahead. He's the okay. guy behind the little door and the like the the little uh, hole in the door where he's like, no one sees the wizard, no way, no how. <laughs> <laughs> and then you open the giant door and there's a little teeny weeny guy behind him. Yeah, and you're just like, hey. Hey. Um Gust Skimmer. Yep. Court homunculus is now a 2-2. Mm -hmm. I attack. Yeah. And I will say go. Okay. There's always that scary point when you're playing against the ramp deck where you're like, do I kill them before they just start going like, haymaker, haymaker. Well, yeah, like the Kozlex Predator last game was like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, that's eight mana next turn. Uh, I'm going to burst lightning the gust skimmer. I mean, rude, but... Go ahead. <laughs> Sensible play. I like that. You attack the other creature so that it also tries to shrink the court homunculus. Mm. Represents the... Court homunculus. Oh, yep. but you didn't see that coming. Attack for two. Mm -hmm. Say go. Uh, end of turn. I'll sack that. Uh, All right, pardon me. It's it's pluralized now. Homunculi. Oh yes, quartz homunculi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the plural is quartz homunculus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the problem? <laughs> Having a lot of difficulties keeping track with these homunculi. Are they one ones? Are they two twos? Are they these are artifacts are entering and leaving play. They are in fact artifact creatures, so they buff one another. Ooh, what good friends! That's a good little team there. Um. So you first picked. Um, mold Drifter. Yes. But what what puts you in the uh, artifact sub theme specifically? Because like blue leaves you open in a number of different directions. Yeah. Well, I first picked a um, um, a Mold Drifter. I'm playing Alamir. All right. Then I picked a um, a Thrumming Bird. Oh, cool. Okay. Right. Because like. Yeah. I'm playing Is It Boiler Works. All right. I'll return that back. Go ahead, Cam. Okay. Is it a boiler works? Bum bum so. Ah, magic jokes. 
court homunculus. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, attacks. Uh, I'll block one. Okay. All right, so no effects. They'll trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adam goes down to 14. I will say go. Okay. How many did you get? Three. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, I picked Muldrifter, Thrumming Bird, Narcolepsy, I sure. think. You're like, I'm um, in blue. And then at that point, a fairy, uh, fairy machinist had gone by. Sure. And then another fairy machinist showed up. So I thought, maybe the art artifact deck's open. Yeah. I picked up the fairy machinist and then started picking. Mm. I think I got like uh, a thought cast next. Cool. Did you get the artifact lands? No. I saw one. Yeah, the around? dark steel yeah. citadel. I think I think that's the difference in one of these decks between like a solid one and sort of like the nut. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah. At what number does this become the blue band group? <laughs> Play another Alomir. Ah. Hmm. And a Gnarled Pack unkicked. Okay. What does that Go one ahead. do? Uh, it's a 2-2, two, two, but when it when kicked, it has um, uh, two plus one plus one counters, I think. Oh, cool. Right? Yeah. Don't, don't kick the Gnarled Pack. And she's about to fill the plus one plus one counter on it for You're each nice time fuzzy it boys. kicked. Oh, it's multi-kicker. Okay. Flare Husk. Mm-hmm. Please don't kick the bears. <laughs> <laughs> the only, the age old question for the rum, the aggressive deck: Do you just rumble into the blockers to clear a path? That seems like quite bad here, <laughs> because I'm caught on two mana. Go. Okay. Mm. Full hand, full of mana looks pretty good now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is justice, I suppose. Uh, There's a seven clump of land somewhere in your deck. Go ahead, Kemp. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Thought cast. Ooh. Uh, discounted by three. Make yeah. my land drop. Mm -hmm. Say go. Okay. Three mana. Play a little lower scale clone. Yikes. Uh, Woof. Go yeah. ahead, camera. Yeah, these sort of growth threats in this format are very interesting. Mm-hmm. Near Smith shows up for work. Yep. Say go. Uh oh. Uh, end of turn. Six mana? Yeah, I'm gonna fiery fall the near smith. Oh. All right. He's like, I was burned by that card once. Yeah, and I mean, Never that's, again. Yeah. that is correct. Draw, yeah. uh, trigger. Mm hmm. Adam choosing the green dice here to represent the growing size of the blue-green creature. Bold choice. Combat. No blocks. Okay. Herman takes four, going down to 16. I'm just thinking about this poor Mir Smith. He's like, I'm here to work! And then, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were going to inform you that there was an accident at the, <laughs> <laughs> the Mirror Smith factory. Yeah, the, the, the sign says Days. Like predator? Yeah, <laughs> Days since last accident just gets reset back to zero. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Ken. Okay. Can you imagine having to think of a person's family as the person who summoned them being like, look, something bad happened for <laughs> today? Arrest the lore scale quaddle. Yep. Uh, say go. Okay. Mm. 
be yeah, very relevant if the uh, combat. Yeah. Trying to lean in for seven. Take seven. Yep. Just because goes to nine. Just because he's arrested doesn't mean he's not getting those gains. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like they're, yeah, they're there's... getting swole in jail. <laughs> Our school codals like written down the name of the people responsible for this arrest. Uh, mirror enforcer. Yep. Discounted by three. Yes. Uh, I'll say go. Okay. Hey, lower scale quota. What's the 13 and a half for? <laughs> 12 jurors, one judge have a chance. We need like a some type of comic book adaptation of lower scale coddles life in jail as they work for things maybe maybe they turn over a new leaf and they they forget vengeance and they're getting swole for a different meaning i don't know comment yep uh block predator with the enforcer yep and it's taking four correct here almost certainly not i will block the alloy mirror with the germ. Yeah. No effects. Cameron no effects. will take two. Goodbye, uh, germ. You are a brave boy. Six mana. Wildfire? Oh, God. Well, this goes up to four. Wildfire has been cast. Each player sacrifices four lands. Uh, and take every creature takes four damage. Luckily, I have many more lands in my deck. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, one sec. All right. Well, There's that... just a smoldering pair of boots left on my battlefield. <laughs> just like, what happened here? It's like, no one was left to, to tell. Go ahead, Kim. Other than the snake continuing to get swole. Go. Okay. The snake was protected in prison. Uh, tattoo. Sphere of the Sun. Hmm. Go ahead. Go. Old germ is like, don't worry, my armor will protect me. No, that's, not, that's not how that works, germ. <laughs> uh oh. Go. Powerful magic. Uh, Dragon Soul Knight. Rut row. Go ahead. I see. Go. Red, red, blue, black, green. What am I missing? Planes, right? Do I have it all? Yeah, five colors. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll try for it. Go all to right. combat. Uh, I will. Cast Dispatch to tap the Dragon Soul Knight, yeah. even though I don't have Metalcraft. Uh, so good in this deck. I'll play a Wayfarer's Bubble. All right. Go ahead. You just rip four lands off the top of your deck after being wildfired like a boss. Oh, like a boss is a really vivid description for what's <laughs> happening right now. Mm -hmm. um, let's move to die step. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Oh, no. I just complimented you, Cameron. I, tr I did my best. Well, that was really quite something. The power of a wild... What did you do? I don't know how I made you gain 100 <laughs> life, but... <laughs> Here we are. I am gaining 154 life. Yeah, that, that's the handicap you get for next game. Every any time you get wildfired, you get to start with an additional 130 life. That's a <laughs> that's yeah, that's just science. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who has cast 
As the most prolific wildfire player in the surrounding metagame, if Wheeler can start putting on different hats and making that claim, then so can I. Hmm. I, I feel kind of bad for the Dragon Soul Knight. Yeah. That he was like, all ready. All ready to go. <laughs> he's like, this Finally, is my chance. It's my chance. It's my and chance it, to win this game. And then he's like, and I get to turn into a dragon. That's going to be so awesome. And then he got tapped. And he's like, okay, okay, next turn. Next turn, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do Put it. Put me I'm in, gonna coach. And then Cam just, yeah. Just took that away from him. It's like, where'd the, where'd the game go? Yeah. <laughs> could, could you activate it in response to the concession, please? I'm assuming you're playing. I would like to play. Yeah. Like, look, that one, that young kid, you're not making money in a game of Magic. You're making money in the sponsorship afterwards. Mm. And they're all playing for that sponsorship money. <laughs> they got to look as good as they can every match, or else they're just going to be forgotten. Uh, Keep. Yeah, I mean, who is, remembers Grey Ogre, right? This is fine, right? <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, you have the option to play or draw? Uh, play. Amazing. Yeah. All right, let's, run, let's rumble. Planes. Mm -hmm. Court homunculus. <laughs> yeah. Say go. Cork is in session. Mm. Mm. I really want to cosplay as this guy now. Yeah? Just like... Hike my pants up to here and put feet. <laughs> wait for his bubble. Go ahead, Cam. Can I look at the? All right, I'll wait for you to do things. Yeah. Then... Okay. Yeah. Like, how much of the blue is just forehead? <laughs> Gust skimmer. Yep. Attack for two. Yep. All right. Upon Say closer go. inspection, it's almost entirely forehead. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna burst lightning the gust. Uh, I'm gonna play Rakdos Carnarium. This game's Please. feeling really, really familiar here. Go ahead, Cameron. Hopefully, not too familiar. <laughs> Blinding Soul Leader. Mm -hmm. Attack with Court Homunculus. Yep. Pass the turn. Yeah, that's just a very short person with a very long coat. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I think I can make this cosplay happen. I mean, Oko is a tall order, but I think I can do this. Play Dragon Soul Knight. Ooh. Ooh. Go ahead. Okay. Does he have the arrest again? That's the real <laughs> question. I mean, you can tap it down with the Soul Eater, but... Yeah. But at that point, it's like not a great return. The number of people who saw the new, the new Planeswalker Oko are like, I have to cosplay now. Yeah. I, fairy Machinist. Yep. Flying 2-2 when it enters the battlefield. Look at the top three cards of my library. Mm -hmm. Reveal an artifact from among them. Put the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. I will reveal this mirror enforcer. Yep. Um, I'll say go. Okay. ourselves another first strike standoff here. Mm. Powerful keyword. Very. I managed to hold a 7-2 trample <laughs> at bay with the humble first strike. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, Thunderbliss? I'll sack mm -hmm. that. Mm So, how did you end up in five colors, Adam? Uh, I wheeled that wildfire. And you're like, all right, I guess we're doing it. Like, uh, yeah, no, that sounds... Th what was your pack one pick one? Kozilek. Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, that would do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ah, it doesn't matter what color I'm in. It's just big mana. Yeah. Uh, and then I will play this.
thought cast. Mm -hmm. Oh. Discounted by three. Yep. Doesn't that feel good? It feels amazing. Yeah. Uh, to be to be perfectly honest. <laughs> One mana per card. Um. Oh, I'm gonna man. pay three for the six drop yep. somber hover guard. Mm -hmm. Flying three two. Um. Then I will declare attacks. Yeah. Two in the air. Yeah. I'll say go. Okay. Mm. I've also had a lot of fun in the past playing like blue white tempo with an artifact sub theme. I mean, this is this is interesting. Maybe I should play Academy. He said. <laughs> I mean. If you wanna, if you wanna play around in the next uh, Highlander League, I'm sure yeah, we can, I hook can you just up. borrow a shop stack. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe that's a natural progression for me. Play shops. Um, oh my God, the modular card. It's an aristocrat. It was like, oh, uh, uh, Arcbound Ravager. Yeah, Arcbound. Oh, play a, yeah. Play Workshop Ravager. It, it feels real good, Cam. It feels real good. Tap that up for with like Disciple of the Vault. Like, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna cast an Arlen pack with one red floating. Alright. And then cast an Alarm here. Alright. Uh he's in the board of two twos. Play this to mere <laughs> aqueduct. The one three is king. <laughs> White. Go ahead. Four mana. Mm -hmm. A second fairy machinist. Yep. Feels good. Revealing a fairy machinist. <laughs> yeah. He's almost displayed a loop. What do you do? Uh, wildfire? Attack. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare. I kind of was wildfire or bust, really. Yeah. Take five? Take uh, attack with five in the air? Yep. All right. All say go. Um, end step. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap down the Dragon Soul Knight. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really allow me to crack into the homunculus, though. Um, I'll actually tap down the Gnarlid pack. Mm hmm. And then swing with the team. Representing exactly nine. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I will... Fiery Fall. Targeting one of the, the three two, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll block. I'll block there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take four in the sky. Yeah. Oh, and goes down to five. Um. This is gonna hurt so bad if I get wild fired. Um, fairy machinist. Yep. Ah, uh, the mm -hmm. first whiff. Go. You're three for three. Oh yeah, oh, court yeah. homunculus dies. Yeah. 
Uh, Quartz homunculus. Oh, it was all alone this time. Singular. Mm. Old Huey. <laughs> now you got me. That's it. Oh, Thank you so much for the match, Adam. There is. And there's yeah. the concession. Uh, yeah. It was on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sucks. The out. I know. It's, I could have... Uh, no, I couldn't have. But I mean, like, I was looking at... I could have... I was like, maybe a turn off from, like... If he didn't have to block with the mirror, I could have, like, activated knight and then I was getting close to being able to activate knight and cast overwhelming stampede and I just would have killed you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, you would have. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So. Yikes. All right, friends. Well, okay. that was round two. We're going to take yeah. a very short break. And when we come back, our final match of the night, Jer versus Graham. So please stick around and mm -hmm. we'll see you then. Cheers. Good evening and welcome back to Friday Night Paper Fight here on the Loading Ready Run streaming juggernaut service. Yeah. I am your table friend Cameron and here we are with round three of our Modern Masters 2015 draft. To my left, Jeremy Jer. White, who has put together was green white, you said? Yeah, it's like a green white, not quite as tokens -y as I wanted it to be, but... You know. not, not bad for a six person pad, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. And to my right is Graham, Hello. who has put together... I'm also green, but Ooh. I'm green-black. And Ooh. I've got two archetypes fighting for supremacy. We'll see what, we'll see how it shakes out. That sounds very green-black. Yeah. Right, very kind of like survival of the fittest. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't have survival of the fittest. Was that in this one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. All, All right. right. Uh, well, uh, have we generated first player? Yes, it's me. All right. Graham is going to play. Both players have kept seven. Mm-hmm. Fight! Let's do it. Swamp. Why did I put that on the card reader? There's no... Yeah. Go ahead. Somebody was asking in chat during the break, and yeah, we have Please. two... We actually Go. have two cameras up there. Uh, one for this view that you're seeing, and one just for the card reader. Ooh. The first pick. Pardon? Oh. Yep. I'll, I'll go and... Uh... I, have, I have them here. Oh. So, uh, game two? Go ahead. That was the that was the first pick. Oh boy! I think you're the only person in the building that didn't know I had that because I was like, I want to surprise him. Oh, you've got. Okay. Nest what is the correct? The spawn. Go uh, ahead. I'll draw the spawn for the nest invader. Yeah. Or what is just know. like the one that you want to run? Is it the Metroid? Is it the little right, so it's That. I like the colorful one. Yeah. So yeah. I lose a life. Oh, do that. that. Apologies. Cool. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, and then I will play... Ben, help! He played turn two Bitter Blossom. <laughs> oh my Vampire. god. Go ahead. Blood Throne Vampire. Indeed. Uh... Is Ben here? Oh, cool, cool game! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, there's been a theme of first strike and or double strike just holding things off forever so wow. i guess i'm gonna try to all right all right continue all right. the old theme yeah, i was not aware that first strike was like such a big thing in this uh format thank you uh, i'm going to play the aqua strand spider indeed uh, so it's got graft two, so it enters with two counters, and then whenever another creature enters the battlefield, I can move a counter from that onto the, from this onto that, and this way I can pay a green to also give a cr counter creature reach. Hmm. It does all kinds of fun stuff, um, and then I don't know. I'm really worried about that cat knight actually. So I'm going to nameless inversion the cat knight. It becomes every creature and then dies. But not food, apparently. Apparently not food. Yeah. Because Watsy hates fun. And I'm gonna get in with the fairy rogue. Ow. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, it loses. Oh, all sorry. Creature. Loses all of his creature types. Sorry. Nameless inversion is all creature types. I have spiders too. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, okay. Oh. Dice. Poor spider. But the spider does not. Natively have reach. No. Okay. 
I'll play Convoking. Conclave Phalanx. Ah, oh, here's the battlefield. You gain one life for each creature you control. Wow, okay. Uh, go Yikes. ahead. Yikes. All right. Thank you. Stupid bitter blossom. It's a good point. It's a good point. You uh, nameless inversion the uh, ginger brute, or and it's still a food because it doesn't hey. take it doesn't take that away from it. It's not a creature type. Ha ha! We got there. Finally, justice. Yeah, all in the same week, Watsi announces a Teferi themed corset and removes food from Ginger Brute's <laughs> creature subtypes. Uh, all right, I'm going to do a little bit of. They also changed the historic wildcard conversion oh, yeah. from two to yeah, one nine. to one to one. So That's yeah. true. It's probably all a wash. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of convoking myself. It's a lot of convoking. Uh, so one, two, three, eight. four. Wait. That's eight. Yes, that's eight. Good. Five okay. lands plus three creatures. Correct. Uh, this is a Kavu Primarch. Kicked. Kicked. Yes, a kicked Kavu Primarch. So it enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters. Oh boy. So it's a seven seven. And then I'm going to attack with these two. I kind of uh, forgot there were non flame tongue Kavus. I will sacrifice a fairy. Okay. And, oh right, Duh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so okay, here's what I here's what I did there. I thought Blood Throne Vampire was a two two that got plus one plus one. Ah. Uh-huh. And then I read it this turn, read the text box, and it was plus two plus two. I was like, oh, oh. so I sack one creature, and then it'll be a four four. And I hmm. won't make that play wanna... again. Well, my Blood Throne Vampire is not dying here. It just depends on. Uh, uh, I'll sack another one. And you take one from the fairy rogue. Go ahead. Well, that's an interesting point. Maybe a Teferi themed core set involves a lot of like time jumping around. Hmm. You could see could a lot cool. of like old like things referencing older cards. Yeah. That's usually a crowd pleaser. Mm-hmm. I'll try and sunlance the vampire. Uh, three. Uh, gonna sack two creatures for that? Please? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> that seems bad. Damn. Yeah. Well. You got more phalanxes where that came from. Yikes, all right. Go ahead. Uh, so I get, a f- I lose a life and get a fairy, and I'm going to graft onto this fairy. Mm. Right, that's how that works. Whenever yep. another creature, great. Okay, now I draw. Um. did I end up with? Um, An attack. Attack, you say. Mm -hmm. I will not block and take eight damage. All right. Dang. All right. Um... Hmm. No, I'm going to not be greedy, and I'm just going to cast this and not wait until I get more forests. Wolfbriar Elemental. Hmm. It's a 4 4. Card's also insane. Go ahead. It's really good, but I'm like, eh. Let's just, let's just play the 4 4 because it's just a big creature on this board. I should probably bring up that this was my rare in pack one. Mm. And. Yeah. So I went Bitter Blossom into Wolfbriar Elemental, and was yeah. just sort of like, I'm green-black. Yep. I never know how to 
the fact that I don't really play green all that often mm. makes me unavailable, unable to uh, evaluate green creatures fairly. What was your first pick? Mall Drifter. Oh, right. Yeah, that's... Which that's, I think is, yeah. is oh, a defensible... I already, did oh. you, okay, great. Cool, thank you. Yeah, no, Mall Drifter is a perfectly fair uh, first pick. I just didn't know how nutto Wolfbriar Elemental was in this format. I think I'd take Wolfbriar over the Mall Drifter just because, like... Muldrifter is very solid, but Wolf Bar can just like win a game by itself. Yeah, I imagine like you draw it on turn seven. But yeah, right, and they're both like high picks. All right, attack with these two. Mm. I think Muldrifter is a defensible pick, mm. especially if you're like, look, I just want to do blue stuff. Yeah. Also, I didn't know if there were, like, a Llanowar Elves equivalent in mm. the set that would make, like, you know, an abundant source of green mana other yeah. than forests in a two-color format. Exactly. Right? I wonder if I should actually, I wonder if this deck should actually have more. I have a lot of low drop black creatures, so I wonder if, so I'm just sort of, I'm running a fairly even mana base, and maybe I should have hedged a little more green just in case. But I'm going to give this reach. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do something else. I just haven't decided what. You've only got two cards in hand? Yeah. Hmm. What, mm. what, is, he, uh, what is he deciding between? So the Casting friend... an otherworldly journey. Ah. I need to decide if I'm targeting this or this. Aha. Huh. I think I'm targeting this. Okay. So it gets exiled? Yeah. Then it gets returned at the beginning of the next end step with a plus one plus one counter right. instead of three plus one plus one. Fair. Are you also uh, trading you know, for the thing? Okay. Money. So we also trade there. Um, I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna. I. I happen to draw a forest, <laughs> which I am now playing. Uh, okay. I'm going to. Oh, so oh you had a thing. Yeah. Okay. I got the one that it had. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Link Moth Exus. Oh, hello. All right. Neat. 1-1 one, one with flying. Target cool. Blink okay. Moth. Ugh. Wow, that actually uh, is a real big problem. I feel like for this the Blossom. tremendous urge to talk about like any artifact I see in the set is being like, does this go into Affinity? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'd assume yes. Blink Moth Nexus clearly... Right. The cost oh. is so, so low. Mm -hmm. That does the... Yeah, that does the... Not Mute Vault. The... Workshop. No, not Workshop. Factory. Factory thing, mm -hmm. where you ac activate it, and then you can make Pump it... Itself. You can make it a 2-2. Two -two. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can just eat fairy robes all day. Notably not the turn it comes in, because it has summoning sickness, but... Oh! Yeah. That, that is... Thank you. That is... We'll point, point that That out. is relevant. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to crunch, then. I'm just going to slam with what I can slam with. While, while I can slam with it. Uh, that's also bad. Uh, double block. This one. Right, because it's only a 4 4 right now. Yes. Right. Uh, I will order the Conclave Phalanx first. Makes good sense. I take six. Cool. Um, all right, I'm just going to main phase. Yes, I'm just going to main phase this Death Denied to return two creatures from my graveyard to my hand. Hmm. Uh, and I'll play the Blood Throne Vampire. That's why we didn't kill the Wolf Briar Elemental. Yeah, because I was definitely going to do shenanigans with that. Go ahead. Mm. Yep. Another planes. Go ahead. Ow. Uh, wait, only one of the 
does have summoning sickness. I'm going to keep my piles straight. Um, I'm going to slam with all of these friends. Enemy. Mm-hmm. Blocks vampire probably. Mm -hmm. Just have to count. Yeah, blocks vampire, blocks fairy. Before damage, I'm gonna make this bigger. All right, whichever fairy you're blocking, I'll just sack to the blood throne for. Sure. For making me feel good value, I guess. I'll, I'll sack this to make mana. Sweet. Okay, right. so that's six. Yes. Cool. Uh, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. Big Primark. Four counters. Go ahead. Sorry. The Primark is back. Thanks back to again. thanks to all of the convoking, and it was kicked. So it's so it's, it's it's real thick. Hmm. Forest. I think it is too little too late. Well, technically not dead. Mm -hmm. Scion. All right. All right. Go ahead. So not, not counters, but for the benefit of everyone here and at home. It's a 2-2 two -two right now? Currently, yeah. Cool, okay. Hmm. Had it in my opening hand. I just now drew. The second? Second green. Second green, yeah. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the summoning sick fairy rogue. Mm. Cool. All right. Bone splinters. <laughs> Whoa. Apparently, I want this one. <laughs> All right. Is that is that the naturalize you were talking about? There is a naturalize, perhaps. I don't know. Mm. Uh, the scion. Yeah, the scion used to be a rare. Yes. Really. Yeah. In whenever it was printed originally, the the, the star star equal number creatures you control. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I don't know what set that was. I'm even main decking this. Ooh. Ooh, speaking of things I should main deck, I wonder if... Mm, is that too much of a corner case? Probably. Oh, imagine playing in a format where you can run multiple bl bitter blossoms. <laughs> Technically, I do not have multiple bitter blossoms. I'll, <laughs> I'll say that right now. I should hope not. Your boss and unlimited is so silly. Yeah. Like one one flyers are just way higher value in limited than they are in most constructed formats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's profoundly silly. Yeah. They needed to Oh, okay. The Beach Lander. I was wondering what I didn't understand what what what, what Vaseline or, or barcode, barcode was. I did not either. I was just like smiling along, being like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I totally watch our content." That 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 joke of you know that yeah, long running the joke, joke of ours. Yeah, the joke that I they, understand. They needed to flip a coin during Beach Liner, and all Beach had in his pocket was his little oh, tin, tin of, of Vaseline of, of lip goo. So it was. And one side says Vaseline, and one side there's a barcode. Hmm. All right. Good. Thank you for explaining that. <laughs> Seems perfectly reasonable to me. I don't. I don't see uh, it, to why be honest, anybody would see that being weird. To be honest, it makes way more sense than I thought it would. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting it to be some weird thing, but no, that's actually totally sensible. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's just. That, it's an odd circumstance, but a completely reasonable that interpretation of it. Right. Uh, that being said, uh, Vaseline or barcode as a potential subject for this and that. Or this or that, I mm. don't think is going to happen. No, no. I mean, if there's a way to make that happen, that it isn't, that it actually is like functional, like I'd be surprised, but I, yeah, I, I would I, love I feel to that see it. Once you learn to recognize Vaseline, 
<laughs> it becomes yeah, relatively I trivial. Will, I don't know yeah. how many brands there are of Vaseline or whatever. I, yeah, I will keep. Ask what what yeah. what what is the Not crossover again. between it's Vaseline not. and barcodes? <laughs> All right. Weird things in chat commands. Wonder if anyone will have Beach sign their Vaseline at the next con. That's, that's so. That's, that's odd. Yeah, that's peculiar. I don't know if I. Did you see my latest Paxi's vlog, by the way? Oh, is it the one with the multi beaches with Threege? Yeah, it's worth watching. Like for for you because you know her, it's worth watching just for Casey's reaction. <laughs> Casey is a friend of ours who works at Chris Straub's booth at Pax, and so the first time that uh, it was, the first time that she saw us during setup and saw <laughs> Beej in normal street clothes. Oh yeah, was the first time she'd ever seen him in normal street clothes. She'd only ever seen his convention get. Like his right, convention right. getup, and he's just there in like khakis and a polo shirt, and she was like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> sure. Bottom. <laughs> All right. You are not London mulliganing enough. I assume you're. Yes, I was going to say. Sure. I assume you're on the play. All right. Yeah. Let's get. Let's get into it. Sure. Uh, Jeremy has played a forest. forest. Mm. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna draw. Uh, swamp. Go ahead. Eater. Mm. I've got card red. Perfect. Um, where'd that land go? There it is. Ha ha! I see. Go ahead. Spiders nod at each other across the red zone. Yeah. Okay, that I don't have. Alarming. Yeah. Good. Oh, I see. That's bad, actually. This that's... is a powerful curve. Yeah, that's quite a bad thing for me. Um, it's 2-2 two -two with double strike, you say. Yeah. It's important to realize if you think your opponent's deck is much better than yours, and they just have a bunch of rares, sometimes you just got to cheese them as hard as possible. Mm. And making a 2-2 two -two double strike flyer is about as good as that gets. Oh, I should have tapped differently. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, interesting. <laughs> I forgot Does that Aquastrand Spider has other lock. text. Go ahead. <laughs> Blink bomb nexus. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I take four. Call me of ancient law. Ah, there it is. Mm. All right. Go ahead. I'm mean decking this. I needed it last game to kill your stupid bitter blossom. Mm. How does this fit in with the uh, power rankings of Silver Chase Fox style cards? Is this uh, better? There's it's no activated spirit, cost? So it probably has some interactions. The most relevant creature type of them. There's a fox, there's a cat. Mm. Uh, I don't think there's a. Human. There's a human that ETB destroys it. War Priest of Thune ETB destroys an enchantment. Mm. I'm going for the but. I'm going for the risky biscuits play, and I'm gonna just play the truth. Oh wow. Go ahead. As I said during the draft, I was like, well, I can't deny this. Uh when this set came out, uh Ben Stark referred to uh Algy Gariel as the truth. It's a good name. Because he just can't be denied. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Roar. Oh, dang. Um. Well, these ones you are likely yeah. not blocking. True. Uh, I'll block the county. Okay. And Sacrifice Aqua Strand Spider. Okay. Take five. Please. I take five. Whenever no. goes on Algae Garal. It's only when it enters, right? It's all right. Whenever another creature oh, dies. Right, right. Any creature. Any creature. Oh, so actually, sorry. Two, two, counters. two counters. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, go ahead. That's why it, the truth, though. It all makes sense now. Should I be playing Algae Gariel in 
Arist how much are you? Three and a green. Mm-hmm. No. No. Uh, <laughs> no. If it was one and a green. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try this nameless inversion. Yep. Whew. There goes the plan. Uh, and I will play my own scoin. Scoin? Scoin of the wild. Uh, I will attack with both of these. I take six. All right. Yeah, Go two ahead. and a green, I would be willing to like sleeve it up and try it. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Play, bleh, play a ruined servitor. Indeed. Mm. And I'm going to slam. Yeah, taken 10. Would you like to make it 12? I mean, 11. Right, because if I sack this, then this gets bigger by 2, but this gets oh, smaller no, by no, 1. It's still oh, but this gets. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay. Uh, no, that's okay. All right. Just 10. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Honestly, it's that I don't want to draw you an extra card. Mm. Wise. Go. Hands. Going to mm. convoke, seven, seven, eh? convoke a Cabo Primark and then make the same attacks. Block vampire block. Aerial block scion. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's okay. We'll just we'll trade. So four things die. Four things die. So this goes up to seven counters and. This goes down to four power. Ah, thank you, Cam. Go ahead. Animate. Mm hmm. Phalanx. Mm hmm. Gain two. Yeah. Pass. Uh, slam. Just with those? I'm trying to figure out what I gain from also attacking with the server. I guess it doesn't matter, because you can't use that. To I, I die if you attack with the servitor. Really? I'm mm -hmm. at six. I have to block this, then right. I have to block a four, and then I take six. I attack. I will die. All right. All right. Cheers. <laughs> well, when you said you had two two halves of two archetypes, you didn't mention they were the good halves of those archetypes. <laughs> yeah, it was the it was the sacrifice deck and the tokens deck because mm. I had you have scatter the seeds. Yeah, I've got two of them. Holy. And God. I didn't this is this is what knocked me out of day 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vegas. I really was. Yeah. I'd, all I remembered going into this was like, oh right, scatter the seeds is really strong. Yeah. So yeah, then I had two Cabu Primarchs, two Garials, two Bloodthrown Vampires. I think I had two Nameless Inversions. So there was a lot of duplicates. Mm. Yeah, your deck sounded quite good. And that was the other the other fun money was the, the Noble Hierarch. So. Ooh, nice. Yas. All right. Well. That has been our Modern Ooh. Masters 2015 tournament here on Friday Night Paper Fight. Uh, that was fun. It's been a while since we've done something like 
just uh, something that hasn't been the like the, 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 the standard the, draft set. Yeah, the, yeah current, the, the current draft. The flavor du jour. Yeah, that was super cool. Um, yeah. yeah, wow, coming back, this was really good after nearly four four years. Yeah. It's been over four years since wow. that set was out. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Um, but Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by the very kind people over at CardKingdom.com. CardKingdom.com. A clean, well-lit place to storm out. I love your have, have stormed there. Yeah, Can't have stormed her. there would would storm again. I I I love your uh, your um, motto for it. <laughs> I mean, technically, cardkingdom.com is not a physical place, but mm. yes, the Mox boarding houses, the Moxon boarding house, the boarding houses Moxon. There we go. Yeah, there we go. How complicated? How Our... badly can we ruin their branding? Yeah, just <laughs> we're pleased that you continue <laughs> to sponsor us, Car Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, you just watch their like branding guidelines shrivel every time we come on stream. Stop just... letting them say words. Uh huh. But yeah, no, they're 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 really cool. We've talked yeah. a lot about their. The, we've spoken extensively about the quality of their service and also the fine nature of their brick and mortar stores. Consider mm -hmm. checking them out next time you're either in Seattle or on the internet looking to buy magic cards. Yeah. Uh, this stream is also brought to you by you. You did this. The kind viewers over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Your direct support of this stream via Patreon allows us to pay for a variety of infrastructural needs including humans. If you are watching the replay of this right now on our YouTube channel, please subscribe. It is new and fresh and we'd love you to stick around. And if you're watching us now on Twitch, let's tell you about what's happening tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. Uh, uh, tomorrow on Twitch, Adam's Game House will be playing 5. Persona 5 Persona again. 5. It's got his hooks in him. Real good. Uh, it's so, so good. Adam will be, will be playing more of that. And then tomorrow evening, we have Loading Ready Live starting at 6 p.m. Pacific. Woo. So be sure to tune in for that. It's our variety show where we are funny for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have actually... live. I should have said, if you are on the YouTube channel, a new episode of North 100 just went up, where you're talking about uh, the pillars. Pi pillars of points. Oh, yes. The points pillars. The points pillars. High-pointed cards. Mm. And there'll be a Eldraine set review forthcoming, but probably not next week because... PPR. The PPR is coming up. Well, I guess, so on Sunday on the stream is Rhythm Cafe. Uh, Songbird Symphony is uh, what they're playing, and that just that looks adorable. It does. I hadn't seen that art until just now. Oh, it's so cute. The burbs are so round. Yeah, round burbs. Chunky uh, burbs. Chunky burbs. Monday is episode <laughs> of Trouble in Paradise, the paranoia campaign that Dale is running with mm -hmm. Kathleen, Jacob, Ian, and Beach. And Tuesday, of course, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Talking simulator where you're, you're you're going deep into the darkest, dankest dungeon. Yeah, Do you have with a special guest, Adam Savadan. He's the um, Boshi. Yeah, he is the Boshi and our resident uh, darkest dungeon master. He is our dungeon master. Doesn't yeah, I mean the the dungeon is particularly dark when he does it because he does it without torches. Yeah, torchless it? blood moon, uh, champion. He does Adam it Savadan on the hardest setting in the hardest way you can do. Yep, mm. will yeah. will take us through it. Uh, the Let's Nope is a little more... Uh, that was last week. Is that continuing to happen? I think so. Oh, okay. Cool. I Resident... think RE7 was a hit. Cool. Resident Evil Resident Evil 7. Um, I uh, wonder... Or maybe not. Yeah. I no, I guess so. Because Adam started that last week with Alex. So I get Ben's going to be back and continuing Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It's a super fun time. And this is Adam's first time playing it also, which is, uh, you'll know from the, from the screams. <laughs> and now... Wednesday should be fairly normal. If I'm, I know that you put it away, but I'm, I'm just mentioning it because. Oh yes, Fate of the Elder God Ooh. on AFK. Uh, no, um, no, no now kiss this no week. No now kiss. Mm. Um, but then on Thursday, our guests start coming in for the pre pre release. So Thursday's streams currently up in the air, but depending on how the day goes, we may have a bonus LRR MTG mm -hmm. uh, with guests as we've done a couple times. Uh, in the past, and then of course Friday. Uh, oh, right. Tinker sorry, Taylor. Tinker Taylor's still happening that night. Yeah. Really? All right. So we're gonna have to make sure that we reset this up after Tinker Taylor for the PPR in the morning. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, I don't know what Ian's working on, but I He's, bet it'll uh, be fun. Building his the uh, that uh, guidance the guidance computer. Oh, okay. Things actually. He has all the parts. Oh, the now. Apollo. Yeah, yeah. The Apollo computer. Cool. Yeah, he was working on that uh, yesterday. And oh, right. that's super sweet. It's going along quite well, I think. And then Friday. The Throne of Eldraine, pre 
pre-release. You saw the slide for it in the commercial rotation there. But we've got Pleasant Kenobi, Jamie Topples, Olivia Gobert-Hicks, and Daniel Holt, who's a graphic designer from Wizards of the Coast, coming in for it, as well as myself, Cameron, Kathleen, and Adam. And that's streaming all day long on Friday. We're the first people to get to play Throne of Eldraine outside of mm -hmm. Watsi, and we're really excited yeah, about it. Yeah, this looks sweet. I can't it looks wait. looks so, so exciting. Everyone says that Vince is going to need a swear jar. Everyone, I don't know. Everyone said that about Adam, and he's able to keep a tamper on it. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I I believe in Vince. We'll see. I don't know. I've played magic against Vince. Yeah, we, none of us have ever asked him to 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 put a damper on it though. So I, I believe in yeah, his he, internal. He can discipline. do it. He can. If you can play like if you can play legacy, you have the presence of mind. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just maybe not while playing legacy. Yeah. No. Yeah. That would take all of your, all of your. Yeah. cycles yeah ben knows how easy it is to play magic so without swearing. Easy. yeah mm. all right so that is going to do it for what's coming up in this week and indeed for the stream except of course to thank everyone who supports us here on twitch specifically the people who subscribed and gave bits during this very stream i sort of took paul's line uh <laughs> but i'll just get going starting with dr rec for 31 months thank you so much it's r67 has come back for the 16th month thank you DJH Gaming for 21 months. Thank you. Bud Bjinkst for six months. Welcome back. Volton Faze has returned for the 34th month. Thank you. Corbiny Sims for eight months. Thank you. Maybe. I think it's Corbinisms, but I don't know. Yeah, that's I, could, I, I, I thought... That seemed, seemed right. I said Corbiny Sims, and I'm like, that's Well, we right. So we have a user... Brief aside, we have a user in chat whose username is... Camthalian, and the first time I saw him in chat, I was like, Camthalian. Oh, no, wait, no, that's Cam the Lion. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. And then in chat, he was like, no, it's, it's Camthalian. So sometimes we're wrong. So, yeah, come on in, yeah, Serge. Totally. Uh, Dumori for 68 months. Welcome back. Tregolin has returned for the 39th month. Thank you. Dog of Myth for five months. Welcome back. Mm. Plan Docs, thank you very much for that resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Holes in one, 178 for 56 months. Welcome back. Oh, I should de-sleep too. Chronotos for the fourth month. Mm. Thank you. Yoshi Kakazu, Kaksu yeah. for 36 months. Thank you so much. Meaty Ochre. <laughs> That's a good name. Good yeah. name. And also, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Colin O'Clock for 12 months. Welcome back. Zabaran for the 71st month. Thank you. Incredible. Galeco for eight months. One off the sub, Babo. Clever Crumbish. Thank Cleaver. you for... Cleaver? Cleaver Crumbish. Cle Crumbish. It's... I, I promise you it's pronounced Cleaver. Cleaver Crumbish. Thank you for 51 months. Sonic Dano for 19 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Hey. Cat. Has returned for the third <laughs> month. Thank you. A cat. Mr. Bevers for 27 months. The Weird One. Thank you for 37 months of support. J. Clem 2 for 48 months. Welcome back. George TDS has returned for the 18th month. Thank you. Yukon Vesera for 10 months. No breaks here. Mm. Zuchin 120 for 8 months. My, my sub. I'm sorry. ND Cassie for 31 months. Muon Decay has returned for the 70th month. Thank you. Marini for 13 months. Baker's Dozen. Let's go. <laughs> Just Core Luca. It's a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Tatriarch for 53 months. Wow. Welcome back. Call me CJ. Has returned for the third month. <laughs> Hi, Thank CJ. You. Jazzy JRW. Those are almost my initials. Good right? job. Good initials. That threw me off for a second. Voiced Otter, thank you for 38 months of support. Old Man Johnson MB <laughs> for 38 months. Welcome back. Thermos has returned for the 46th month. Thank you. Fresh Prince of Bellerin for 18 months. Dope name. Yeah. The Only Angel X! Hi, hey. friend. Thank you for 26 months of support. King of Tuesday Night with a 16-month resub. Welcome back. 
Lord of Malice has returned for the second month. Thank you. Welcome back. M.W. Gray, 1979, for four months. Welcome back, friend. The hey. Ocean, hey. who hey. subbed. Thank you for 62 months, friend. Good to see you. Hell yeah. Omega Laron for 69 months. Very nice. Welcome back. Nice. <laughs> Desday has returned for the 20th month. Thank you. Type variable for 14 months. Thank you very much. The Behemoth Barn, enormous. Thank you for 20 months of support. The Murfer Show for 13 months. Welcome back. Rogtalop has returned for the 17th month. Thank you. Nexus Vox for 30 months. Welcome back, Brando. Cupid in his era? Sure. 15 months. <laughs> yes. Steve from Detroit. With you, you know. three, you know, Steve from Detroit. Three month read sub. Welcome back. Now we can say we do know Steve from Detroit. Yeah. Final show films is returned for the 67th month. Thank you. Azarax 13 for 35 months. Thank you so much. Detrium Phoenix. Thank you for 40 months. Deuterium. Thank you. Oh. Jari 28 with a five month read sub. Welcome back. Mars is Dead is returned for the 23rd month. Thank you. All hail the pan for 34 months. Well done. PUBG. Saved me so many times. Lemony Fresh with the one year. Holy moly. Thank you. Frickamajig. 16 month reset. Welcome back. That's just fun to say. Yeah. Hiding Box is returned for the ninth month. Thank you. Ice Emblem. Brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. Welcome. Neuter Commuter with 39 months of support. Nice. Rechargeable Frenchman <laughs> with a 14 month resub. Just plug him in. Not Kane nor Abel have returned for the 14th month. Thank you. Shadow Firelaw for three months. Welcome back. Coach Nelly received a gift sub and compliments of Bob the Ninja Goldfish. Thank you very much. Billy Amazing for seven months. Welcome back. Natimus Prime has returned for the 44th month. Thank you. Yuya 8502 for eight months. Thank you for your continued support. Rassilon D&D, 32 months. Thank you. Sodium Fox with a two-month reset. Welcome back. Gaulich has returned for the second month. Thank you for returning. Quizotic Zed <laughs> for five months. <laughs> Tis me! <laughs> Tis you! Yeah, I've been here for 10 months. <laughs> Fletcherizer, 21 month reset. Welcome back. Juan Ramirez has returned for the 23rd month. Thank you. Bits, 19. For 38 months. That's double 19. Lord Ink Death, 27 for 32 months. I always make sure it's not the one that tries to fool you. <laughs> Whispers to cats. With a 33 month resub, welcome back. Dryad has returned for the 42nd month. Tractor Bleen for four months. Sniper Pumpkin, thank hey. you for 46 months. Ghost Waz, 34 months, welcome back. And oh. for the 1,550 bits, many thanks to Vintage Spiffy, Lemony Fresh, I Am Clockwork, Type One, and Not Keen Nor Able. Thank you. The the bits. Bits, Thank the you, everybody. Bits, the bits. We will, that was it for the Friday Night Paper Fight, and we will talk to you next time. Toodles.